Hello. Oh, I'm loud today, aren't I? Hold on. I tweaked my microphone. Oh, I'll shut up until I... All right, is this better? Uh, does it sound fine? My, like in uh, OBS, I was giga far in the red. And people told me I was quiet yesterday, but I turned myself up a little bit. I uh, also played with microphone filters a little, so hopefully I do less peaking. But like if I scream, I don't know, maybe the compressor keeps me from peaking. Maybe not. Uh, let's get rid of this text. We're now starting now. Um, let's start. Someone is on already. So, uh, some rearranging has happened. But, we have more machines than before. Alright, well, uh, my goal today is to make a blast furnace. What does this do? Don't turn on yet. We don't make enough water. Unlucky. So, uh, I actually don't know what my team has done in my absence. We have an autoclave, polarizer, assembly machine. All right. And a lot of quests completing. So I assume we are yeah, most of the way through this. Um, Alright then, I guess if I want to make a blast furnace, I need a lot of Cooper Nickel. This work on... What? What is our... Cooper... Cooper Nickel. Huh? Please spell this word. Not like this, apparently. C-U-P-R... C-U-P-R-O. Which... Okay, so we have the... Oh, this is different. But it's not the regular regular Nami recipe, where it's just wires. We need a fluid. And I think if, as we get the higher tier coils, they're also... Oh, it's a different fluid. Okay. But yeah, it's... We need wires, foils, and a fluid to make coils. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, this stuff is all not that bad. So, okay, um, let's check what resources we have. Oh, actually, let's check on how this is doing. I think we process all our steel, right? Oh, there's more steel process, but it's going. All right. Uh, all right. All our storage has been moved indoors and has been organized a little bit. Although, I don't quite understand this crate system. I think each chest can see all all adjacent crates, right? So like, this is a common crate, and then each chest can see two of the other crates? Yeah, works for me. Um, what am I doing? I saw we had a drawer controller. There's not any drawers. How is this organized now? Or dump. Where are our metals? I don't know. Oh, wait, this one is metals. Uh, okay. We have lots of bronze, some copper. We have a distinct lack of copper and nickel, so I guess let's go mining for that. Also done a little, couple little things. Upgraded our satchel to have a little bit more space in it. I upgraded our pickaxe with Unbreaking 3. So... Pretty soon, 
I think we can replace it with the drill. But until then, this, this is like, I, I mined one vein out with it. It's, yeah, we'll, we'll see how good it is pretty soon. It's really good. I need copper and nickel veins. Actually, hold on. In here, I, I'm pretty, I think one of the last things I did was find a nickel vein or a copper vein. In this processing. All right, well, there's no copper or nickel in there. Can I build an Arby's? I would love an Arby's. Um, oh, there's some copper smelting. Oh, I need a nickel bait. Got it. One nickel vein, please. Oh, you see all these little holes in the map? These are made by the miners that are around. Here, I'll show you those in a bit. I think Kevin set them up. Uh, nickel comes in the form of... Oh, um, know it when I see it. Petlandite. There's a tiny bit there. What else here is nickel? I want more than 30 something. None of these other ones here are nickel. Where's my ore processing tab? Ore byproduct. Alright. So, I don't care for that one. Don't care for that one. Nope. Nickel. Don't care for platinum. Sheldon. Don't, can't get that one yet. That That's the other one. Garnier. Garnier. Right. And... Can we get Sheldon Knight? Wait. This is, yeah, Shelter Knight's end only. So I want the vein that has this one. All right, Garnierite, Nickel, and some Petlanda. Oh. Which is, is it not this vein? What else has pentlandite in it? Pent and oh, this is a lubricant vein. All right, I guess we have to go a little ways to find some. Oh, by the way, I said something earlier about the lumber axes not chopping entire forests. I was wrong. Oh, I don't have one on me. The axes, they still chop the entire forest as long as they're the entire tree until they're connected. Is this stuff oil sands uh, useless I guess I just look for nickel a b c e f g h i j k l m no I Or a rabbit. You got the timing right. You can like launch yourself. Oh, did that nickel vein say it was nether only? No, it's overworld lost cities. Wait, no, that's the lubricant vein. And oh, this is also overworld lost cities. And we are in overworld, right? I J still no. Oh. There we go. See.
book is so fun. Even if I'm so incredibly bad at using it. A hang glider would be good to go with it. I guess I should kill cows. Uh, Stim nuts, otter. Alright, there's two pet landites. Either of these have nickel in them? This one has nickel in it. Okay, so it's... I'm right on a chunk boundary. So if we cross the chunk boundary... It's, it's on the next chunk boundary border, north. And then one, two, and a bit west. On the next chunk boundary north, which is that one. One. Two and a bit west. So like here. You should be right on the edge of it. Yeah, more or less. And there's another one over there if I want it. Is that one also a nickel? Ooh, it is. Okay, uh, one is probably enough. If I go north, a tiny bit cross to, to like the... It's if I dig down where those stairs are, I should hit the vein. Oop, my goal is to not dig into water. Does this thing spawn at? End of 40. Found you. And what direction was the vein in? I it is west from here, right? So it's this way. Which is positive negative X. Yeah, if we could get the thing that puts the veins onto your map, that would be awesome. If someone wants to do that in their free time, thanks. About how big would we say the vein is? Actually, does this just tell me? No, it tells me vein weight. That's like two chunks. Of, no, a chunk. So that's a full chunk, 16, plus a little bit more. So let's call it. A little over 25, maybe 28. I have 50 reach, which I think is enough to... Let's call it this new 30. And it's this way, right? So this is how I've been mining. And it's actually incredibly good. Also, I should probably magnet. Now, who needs broken Greg tech tools when you can have broken, uh, broken pickaxe strats? So I think what's happening is that the extra um, we're, we're abusing order of operations here. This pick it somehow says plus it, it gets extra the yeah plus two efficiency when powered. I think the efficiency, uh, the power deficiency, is applied after the uh, mining speed loss from um, from effortless buildings, like because you're mining a lot of blocks thing. So because of that, we get both speed and block mining. And normally this destroys your tool, but the dark picks being both on breaking three combined with 60% of damage going into power. Uh, you destroy your power. Like, you go through your capacitor pretty quick, but at least you don't break your tool instantly. But for reach, I think I've gotten all the reach I can easily get. There's still more in that wallet. 
I do kind of wish the veins were more cuboid instead of spheroid. Right? Because, for you know, I'm binding cuboid shapes, not spheroid shapes, but oh well. That is perhaps a relatively weak complaint. Whoops, I did not mean to place all those blocks. Wait, is this a strat? If I place a torch, can I then mine the torch and mine... I actually don't know if that mined anything. I think that mined the blocks. I mean, I can just mine these like this, I guess. It mines a little deeper that way than I would like, but whatever. torch. That's the edge of the vein. You know what's missing to make this even better? Night vision so I don't have to deal with torches. What is this vein? Need that right now. But yeah, I think this, mining like this is faster than ham, like regular three by three hammer mining. We can take a look at what the night vision upgrade is in a second. Ooh, is that Ruby? Like Ruby. Ruby redstone always useful. At the bottom, no. I think our, all veins have fixed depth now. I think all veins are like. Six or nine layer depth. So what is my depth so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'll see. It's clearly not six because there's still ores in the ground. Yeah, I think this is the bottom. I guess that was 7 depth. Maybe they don't have fixed depth. I am okay with this Giga Juiced Ore spawn. If we're going to have to spend more time mining, it's going to be time efficiently spent. Can I get up there? I guess I can mine that without trolling myself. Alright, let's get this redstone too. While we're at it, you know? Just that the, the way I mine, I have to always start from one edge of the vein. It's basically the right? Oh, it's still not the edge. Still not the edge. This is double redstone vein. Along with that torch. I think we have now actually reached the edge. I suppose I could have used the scanner to find the edge. That does that does seem like the right tool for the job.
for me. Oh, this vein is also bigger than the previous one, huh? I, I need to set my mining depth higher. Alright, let's break out the prospector and see what settings I need. Although I'm basically, I'm also... Am I literally out of inventory space? I Am I dragging around? Alright, let's just waypoint this and come back later. Because I am out of space to get more. Use a rainbow to dig up from the bottom? Yeah, oh, that is... That is true. Very sensible. Um, yeah, unless it's under lava. Then it doesn't quite work so well. But you can also do the, top, the same from the top, I guess. But then the la at the end, you take a big fall. Is it L? Whoops. <laughs> we will have to go back through. Oh, we have no bites left in our cake. Let's fuck. I need a new cake. I deleted my cake. Now we can move our home to here. Wow. Alright, this is so much ore that I don't think I need to put it all through processing. Because our ore processing queue is a little bit... What does this do this? It smelts directly into cobalt, and if I pulverize this, it's still, it still smelts into rest of it will just smell. What are island cakes? Do they give you... Is it just like a different... Uh, like a different void island? What are these blocks? These are anti-blocks. And they have emissive textures. I don't actually know why they have emissive textures. They don't actually give off light. Maybe it's a Greg type thing. Um, that I will smelt the redstone. I here. Let's some of this orb. We don't need a process right now. Yeah, they look very. They're, they're very crisp. And they have a nice border on them. Ruby, we will need soon enough, but not now. That stone I just don't want exploding in my inventory. And the rest of the nickel alternate tickets. Alright, good enough. We actually running machines. The way our energy net is set up right now, we can charge tools, but we cannot do so while running machines. Because <laughs> all of the energy goes into the charger. Alright. Oh, Every time I go to the base, I forget to put my magnet away and I end up stealing some of the sugar cane. I guess I needed some of it anyway. 
Yeah, I could see other islands being useful for like things that are visually laggy. Like what well, tree farm type stuff. But then you have to transport the stuff. You'd have to transfer the stuff over whatever distance to where you actually want it to be. I want Cooper Nickel, it's that's bronze. Is it two? Is it one to one or two to one? Oop, I already forgot. Oop, row. Row nickel. One to one makes one, and we can alloy smell, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Can one person have multiple island cakes? Like, can you, can you have, you know, an island for this, an island for that? Because that's how I foresee myself perhaps using them. We only have 10 blocks of steel. I guess we could gotta keep that production up. Always need more steel. Like, actually, yeah, four stack. No, let's make eight stack. Nickel. You have your group island and each player has their personal, but then you can share your personal with the groups. Uh, where's my... Can't be bothered to wait for you all. Let's employ parallelization. Oh, you know, you can probably make gold furnaces now, too. And even diamond furnaces. Wow. Wait, is it our diamond furnaces? Two in one? No, right? It's only when you turn them into obsidian furnaces they become two in one? What if an obsidian furnace is actually made from two diamond furnaces? You don't gain any throughput. This is diamond. Alright, let me see what our diamond supply looks like. Well, a multi smelter is not even all that good until you have or what our gold supply. We have nine gold. <laughs> of course. We have nine plus zero gold. All right, maybe we don't do gold furnaces yet. We have multi salt is not, that you've, not even all that good at low tier with low uh, coils, right? You get so much EXP from just smelting things. Wait, uh... Is this also HV circuits to make? Yeah, it's HV circuits to make. Doesn't tell me the processing specs. In GTNH, it does. I think it's Cooper nickel coils started at like eight items in operation, and like sixteen seconds in operation or something at LV. It's not impressive, but also just GTNH things, I guess.
All right, so what else do I need? I need it's two stacks of cooper nickel, tin alloy, bronze foil. Let's get the bronze foil started. Uh, probably have enough stuff in the pipeline already. Bronze foil. Big bending machine. Each bronze makes what? Each ingot makes four foils? Maybe eight sacks? That's more than I need. Um, what other machines here could we use? We could, I could batchcraft a large set of drawers. Wait, so this thing is making beam out. How much do you make? Where... Okay, oh, so they can be internally throttled. That's really nice. But then we need a bunch of steam turbines to actually turn this into energy. I mean, these. Now that we can make rotors, the not terrible way. Alright, maybe I just need to backtrack a whole bunch of these. We can't circuit assembler yet, right? Yeah, I can't. Okay. Because I think I have to make MV circuits. Would be this one. Oh, we can. No, we can't make Gallium Arsenide without a blast furnace, right? Oh, we can. We can mix gallium and arsenic. Hmm. This isn't the way I expected gallium arsenide to be made. Although we need a mixer to do that. Alright, maybe I batchcraft a small set of these circuits. But we can't make them the easy way yet. We still have to make them the hard way. I want you to search tooltips, please. After today, search advanced tooltips. What is the second LV tier circuit? We are nowhere near making these. These are MV. These bolt output into the same place. That's genius. I have to turn these into wires. Yeah, Exa, enjoy your meal. And I also need to make some tin alloy. Alright, once I get that tin alloy started, we'll start on some sort. Tin alloy, if memory serves me right, is tin and alloy. Are we underproducing steam? There's like. Is this grid of pipes for increased throughput? I think we're pipe limited on our now. Our steam. Oh well, fix it later. So 
with all our alloys running, I need to make a lot of these. Let's maybe go for a stack of them. How many components do we have? Oh wow, we have a lot of components already. No, it's working, because it's already done some. It's just it's waiting for enough steam to do another operation. Alright, so what in here do I need to turn these into cables? Uh, jump the queue. Are these running? But they're not even running at full power. I think its bottom is exposed, and that's where the uh, the farts are coming out of. Naturally, you fart out your bottom. What? The vacuum tube's already done. The boards are in circuit board form. We can turn these. We have to use one X copper wire for it. There's no other way. Because we can't make fennel yet, right? This is well beyond our capabilities. Well, maybe it's not well beyond our capabilities. We can, like, go get fuel, but that's probably more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, we're not making PBI anytime soon. <laughs> and this is also beyond us. Okay. We do it the painful way. It involves turning all the copper in the world that I don't my inventory. The wires. Hey Juan. I don't usually start this early. Today is exception, not the rule, I would say. Because it's a Saturday. We have copper ores in here. In here. That's a copper ore. That's a copper ore. That's a copper ore. You know, this stuff is as much iron as it is copper. Why does it smell into copper? It is actually kind of strange. A lot. Some of these ores, like. This ore, is, it's actually one quarter copper, right? If you process it all the way and then smelt it. So right now, if I smelt it, I get 100% copper out of one fourth copper. But if I process it all the way into this, wait, you can ore wash? Oh, if you ore wash it, you don't get the byproduct. I see. If you ore wash it, or if you process all the way into this, it still smelts into one copper at this point. But if you electrolyze it, it becomes, every four becomes one copper, one iron, and two throwaway sulfur. But I think I saw there was a PR in, yeah, there was a PR in a, a pull request in the GTCU um, GitHub that changes. So if you smelt this directly, you get, you know, one quarter in nugget, or one quarter of an ingot in nuggets. So I guess you get two nuggets. Huge nerf. That's a huge nerf to these mixed ores, though. Like this, instead of being, what, this is one quarter iron. But you get a full iron out of it. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's... Use... I mean, it's a reasonable change, it's just that it's, it is undoubtedly a huge nerf. Uh, what for? I need tin alloy in fluid form, right? I'll melt it just in time. This I need in wire form. One more operation. Leave the... that's what it's used. Actually, probably wait. No, we need more coils because our what early things need a set of coils. Does this tell me what multi blocks is? So yeah, at least one early blast furnace, at least one early pyrolyze, 
probably won't have a super early blast furnace or a, a multi smelter. We won't have an oil cracker until it probably three LCRs are one each. This is IV and that's a relic. What is this? A rotary hearth furnace. Is it just a big blast furnace? Yeah, this is just a uh, Jesus. I want my Volcanus back. Volcanus was so much easier to make. Naquada alloy. Oh my gosh. All right. I look forward to these things though. That looks like fun. I can paralyze with yada yada yada. Oh, but uh, this one perfect overclocks. Unlike the, uh, unlike the Volcanus. I guess we don't need that many coils this early. Uh, th we'll make enough for at least the Pyrolyse and the Blast Furnace. That's two sets of 16, right? The 32. <clears throat> I'll go back to doing my copper. Thirty-four. What are the other two for? Oh, typo. Got it. Yeah, it checks out. Um, I have enough now. I need one, two, three, four, five. No, I need eight stacks if I want to do a full stack of circuits. Maybe I do a half stack of circuits. Will a half stack of circuits get me to a circuit assembler? Probably not. And the bo the boards never go to waste. Oh wait, we can make them in a plain old assembler with glue. What am I doing? That's such a better deal. I was about to say, I remember there was an easier way to make these circuits. We'll turn some... I mean, copper wires will never go to waste, but... I'm making these. Wait, why did I think I needed fennel for this? Oh, I need fennel to make fen This is a different board. This is to make phenolic substrate. Which is for the next tier board. I, I think we have cans of glue already. Yeah, we have tons of glue. Well, this isn't even already out of glue. I absolutely hate it when people leave stuff in assemblies. Where are my chests? When you finish with your assembler, clean up after yourself. I don't actually know what was in my inventory. It seems like someone was already making boards, though. Oh wait, I, these, I don't even need these circuit boards. It's phenolic and fennel, isn't it? Phenolic substrate. Oh, words are complicated. And is it phenol? Not fennel? I guess that would make sense. Alright, you got me there. I, will, I, I, I find myself with little room to argue. I need to make a lot of these. <clears throat> Is the only way to make wood plank compressoring wood pulp? It looks like it. Uh, I saw something here earlier. Compressor. Why don't you have a thing feeding you? Can we make... Oh, hold on. Can we make hoppers easily now that we have an assembler? Yes! I'm making infinite hoppers.
about 16. Iron plates. Is it faster to cut? I guess we don't have a cutting machine yet. Is doing oh yeah this is more efficient right centrifuge and we get glue out of it okay I bought it is it faster to cut plates than it is to a uh, plate bender them you generally speaking I think I have three options to make plates well I guess four you melt then solidify which is twenty five seconds to melt a block. So it's like three seconds per plate. But the solidify step is faster. You cut, which if you cut with lubricant is faster. You extrude, but that's MV. Or you bend, which is Okay, so in the end, they all come out to like the same spot, the same speed, but it's like slightly faster to cut if you use lube. No, 22.4 to make nine is like three seconds, a hair over three each. So it's actually fastest to metal bend. Wait, that's not true. 22.4 divided by nine is not about three. It's way less than 3. It's less than 2 and a half. 2.4? Okay, so it is marginally faster than that. But we don't have a cutting machine. So I can't cut. Alright, so it's this plus... Copper foils. Uh, Oil my copper for... This made enough of these already. wonder at what point I started to run too many machines. You need a circuit? No circuit. Now this is only two EU a tick. Well, I've run too many machines when our power can't keep up with it. Why are those? You know about a surgery? No. And what was it? Four of these per? Four of these and a little bit of glue. Okay. Are these easy to make? Uh, that seems pretty standard. Is hard mode complete or work in progress? I actually don't know. We will find out. I think it might still be a little rough around the edges in some places. Slow. I thought there was in. I guess it, it might be a GTNH only thing. There was a recipe to make like a stack of these at a time in the assembler. Someone else so kindly made me a whole bunch already. Is this type of. Glowstone pickaxeable? Nope. There are chiseled variants of glowstone that I recall are pickaxeable.
ったので、そうです。Variant is this big tile. Maybe none of these arches are pickaxable. Maybe I just ended up with a silk touch pickaxe. The mud. Oh, is that the trick? You you chisel out one corner from every one of them, and then they become pickaxeable. Maybe that. Yeah, maybe that was a trick. And or you can place, right? Like if you, uh, what's that thing called the bit hammer, little hammer. Yeah, I'll, I'll make another glowstone. If memory serves me right, if you do this and then that, this bit gives off a whole. Can I not place it? I thought this gave off a whole、uh, piece of glowstone's worth of light. How do you place it? Game sucks. Can I turn you back into a full? I need a little chisel. Little chisel, okay. I don't want, I want glowstone. Middle click to pick block. Okay, that quite clearly does not emit a full piece of glowstone's worth of light. This experiment is a failure. What the? We can try the Forge Microbox version, I guess. Six ends. Use a saw. We get extra stick yield. They're called nooks, right? I don't think this is the right way to cut them. Oh, that is. Yeah, this way you get full lighting, but like it, it only takes up the tiniest little bit of space. But nothing that's not Forge Multi Block compatible gets to also use that space. Right. I'll leave it as an option. The saw, I'm sure, will be useful. Anyways, have you compressed enough? In the meantime, have you assembled hoppers?
right? So I need to assemble, what is it, wood? We'll let this thing finish making. Jesus, it's 40 seconds a hopper? Uh, dies of waiting. Finish making foils. So you can continue on to making iron plate. You know what? That's enough hoppers. It is no circuit. One, two, two, three. Wasn't well, there an issue with barrel flare where it like really liked putting lights inside your blast furnaces because your blast furnace was dark? I thought there was a reason I refused to use feral flares. And then your blast furnace would be like, well, I can't blast, there's a light in me, you know? Yeah, it also puts lights in front of turbines, and that, that basically in blocks, or in multi blocks that have mandatory air, feral flares make them sad. Alright, so, anyways, that's the board. Um. Vacuum tubes resist. So I think vacuum tubes were good on. Let me double check that again. Yeah, we have enough. Oh, there's already a bunch of boards too. Well, whatever. We'll make more. Resistors. We'll have to make. Can we assembler these yet? Old dust, fine copper wire to make two or fine annealed <laughs> copper. Anneal copper needs an arc furnace, so I guess we do it this way. Coal dust plus fine copper wire. Uh, hey, those copper wires I made that I no longer need. Use them. Anneal copper was never an EBF. Oh, I guess it's an EBF recipe in base Nami? It's an arc furnace recipe here. But I also don't have a arc furnace yet, so. Uh, yeah, they're way cheaper to make in the assembler. Can we do any of the four yield ones? Or are the four yield ones all annealed? Not just all annealed, it just doesn't care what form of carbon you give it. Okay. Alright, so this will make two stacks. Uh, I need more gold dust then. I kind of want to go run around Lost Cities to find a sword that has travel on it. Pure pile of I don't care type dust. What is this thing doing? Four well, you don't even have to four chamber this. Alright, let's Yeah, I hear him teleporting around. I'm like, dang, I want to teleport around. What did I come here to grab? I came here to grab something. Oh. Uh, but it's not over here anymore. It's over there. Not sure that was any of that. Can we underhook? Uh, how do I get blaze without? I guess like we can turn our brewing stands into blaze. We need a chemical reactor to make eyes. Yeah, that's basically doable. How am I supposed to get blaze besides <laughs> undoing my brewing stands? Really, tier four.
Ardite. I can electrolyze Ardite. Or Blaze. Or you can... Oh! this re These recipes. Okay, no, we can mix... Oh, that's HP. Wow, these suck. <laughs> none, of, none of these make me happy. Pulsating Dusk and HF. Or... What is this? Floral antimonic acid. Floral anti Floral antimonic acid. Anyways. Blaze seems like it'll be an unpleasant experience no matter how we do it. Uh so was was it one to one? Oh, it's four to one. Uh oh. Our assembler. Oh, we're charging. Can't charge capacitors while we're running machines. <laughs> yeah, I think for now we can only get very low quantities of blades by raiding... by raiding Lost Cities. This assembler queue is getting very long very fast. And this is what, 48? So this is there's already a 480 second work queue in there. And I'm about to add 8 seconds times 64. So there'll be like a 20 minute work queue in there. How many circuits do we have pre-crafted? Four. Four is not a great number. But I think that's the last component. Oh no, I need one extra alloy cable. Well, that's easy. I just have to wear a million. Uh, these do not require a circuit. They do require glue. How much do you hold? Only eight buckets. Unlucky. Alright, so we have all our stuff queued in here. It'll make it eventually. Emphasis on eventually. Turn these into rubber and sulfur. Find some sulfur. I don't have sulfur anywhere? That sulfur? Where'd all our sulfur go, huh? In an ore form still? No way. Your sulfur crushed. Sulfur. Alright, we're out of sulfur, so I guess I have to go mine for sulfur. I don't want to mine for sulfur. The end sucks. Uh, what well. Is this how we make it? No, it's easier to make it in the bending machine, right? We can... I'll we'll have an extruder. I don't care to lathe it. No, I guess we do have to extract it. Oh, it's giga fast. Is 
This step is a slow one. Alright, whatever. What's our energy holding up? <laughs> oh, we're not even transporting sugarcane fast enough. To <laughs> we have so many issues with our infrastructure. But the one I will fix now is that we don't have any sulfur. What do I need? Good enough. Oh, we have so much rubber bars. Alright, actually, let's go Ender Hook first because I. No, I need a chemical reactor. Wait, I can make a chemical reactor. Needed some steel plates. Uh, yeah, we are now through our energy buffers. Machines will start browning out. Probably starting with you, no? Eh. Of course, now our, this new chemical reactor is literally not getting energy. How many room stands have we stolen? Not enough. I need to steal at least like three? Wait, is I of Ender an HP recipe? No, it's LB, okay. Actually, a non-trivial amount of random ores mined by these. Okay. Get some of what we haven't been. This is new on my map. I don't think I've been here before. Any brewing stands? Steam miners have a four block working radius. They're uh They're only okay because how of how incredibly dense ores are in the EU. I feel like the windows are the least of their concerns here. Ooh, that's a lot of Inori. I wonder if we can skip anything with that. Uh, that's a dud. Come on, dude, your house has, like, leaves growing in it. 
like neglecting your landscaping and then there's letting leaves grow in your house. Ah, uh, let me know. So far we have found zero brewing stands. I wish I grabbed all the brewing stands before. I didn't think that they would be quite my only source of blaze rods. We have deep mob learning back. Should I be checking the higher levels of these? I mean, I guess I could. Hey. Come to blaze. Good idea. This is how you normally go from building to building, right? Travel, travel, please have travel. Nope. Premium big, ooh, this sounds good. Damascus steel, that sounds good. Please? How good do we think this is? Four? Uh, 3.3, although it's 4 in energy, that's it. But 3 point something is good. That is better than oct base octatix. And when you, when you build two buildings next to each other, you know, the way you get through from one to the other is just break holes in the walls. I'm glad no one finds this strange. Where have I been here? I'm going inside. Wow, a staircase to go up. Fancy idea. Good, hungry, enhanced. That seems not that good. Uh, yep, worse than if it's worse than Octatic, I usually don't bother taking it. We don't have extra utilities, right? So we have no use for all those random CDs. I mean, besides like playing music or something, but who would do that? Top of the world. Me up. Be in. I think I skipped a level, but oh well. If the owners of these buildings want to sue me, well, sue me, as they say. Only found one brewing stand. This is a scam. I am a scam victim. 
more owners if, if you are planning on abandoning a building in the near future please put up some brewing stands before you do so thanks in advance modified power wait premium explosive impossible that seems good 3.5 i'm in Antic table. They know. This building's seen better days, huh? Did he get hit by the A E two meteor? Is there an A E two meteor down here? No, it just it just vanished. I guess so, someone, a former Greg type player. Plugged in something to the UV power line here. A little root of that building to make it so hard to move around in, you know? I'm not just trying to travel around though, I'm trying to find stuff as I travel. Alright, one more. And I would love to find a pickaxe or a, any tool with travel by then. Probably a sword, because I think that's what spawns in chat. No, why are you empty? I think that's a bug where sometimes I spawn empty. Wait, there's two chests here. A chest on the next floor. Get up here. Oh, you're also empty. I don't go through the door. Can't stop me. Honors a clue that there's thing. What does it look like? Also, that oil spout is so tall. What the heck? On people stop hiding all your treasure give it here
I think in one of my runs, I, I built in one of these buildings with this layout. Because it has a lot of floor space in it. Like, it has a lot of open floor space. I like that layout. But that oil... Well, that's probably the same oil spout that I just said was really tall. An anvil. Ow. Ow. This isn't the floor that had the anvil. Back to that building that I was just talking about. Yeah. even found a chest in so long. I want my scanner that I can scan chest back. Aha! Oh, two of them! Wow. Alright, let's find one more chest, because I think the next chest has my travel sword in it. Apparently this building layout is where the loot is at. At least the opportunities to spawn loot. You don't have a room this way. The other ones did. Or oh, sucks. This is like the... I don't think there's ever any chests in the subway. Why are you empty? I'm, we're gonna go until we find a chest that isn't empty. I hate this game. 
I think maybe if one chest in the chunk is empty, all the chests in the chunk are empty. I think it's some world generation bug. There's nothing down here. Alright, this building sucks. All its chests are empty. Also, it's like 30,000 floors underground. Ooh, almost launched into that lava. Are you aquarium? Aha. Direct? Oh, direct's useful, right? That's where the item just goes straight into your inventory? If memory serves me right? I will... Link your direct. How do you have micro? All right, I'm willing to call that a win. Finish this building though. This building has been good luck. It gave us something, you know? Love gambling. It's like, gotcha. Uh, we lost. No more loot. I think I did all the floors. Okay, but I see two chests. We gotta get those. Don't be empty. Oh no, bye. Don't be empty. Okay, you're not empty. I guess they don't have to both be empty. You suck. Incredibly cooking wonder cap. Uh, 2.9. You suck. Well, you're four in a vat. I don't know if we ever make a vat. All right, good enough. We've succeeded in our goals. I don't know where to put this stuff. That's just ingots. Turn all of you into blaze dust. Now, how many? What's the most blaze dust I can get out of one of these? Because they were kind. I can pulverize into four. And I guess that's it. Pulverize into four. Oh, not loud. Are you. Oh, we have made no progress on our...
We have made no progress on our work queue because we don't make enough RF or enough EU. Oh, where is all our energy going? The vending machine is using a lot. And this generator is not running at full uptime because there's not enough steam sometimes. Oh, the extractor is where it's all going. Alright, once the extractor is done then. Chem react one of them, I think. An under pearl. Is the assembler out of glue? No, it has glue. It's bonked. Maybe we can unbonk it. Probably not until this is done. I think when this is done, we can unbonk it. And this is almost done. Oh, you cut in my line. Line has been cut in. Huh. Eh? Is it? It's struggling, but it's getting there. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a machine spend so long at not full energy, but will succeed in it doing its job and not like, not brown out. Alright, I think now it's stabilizing. Um, we'll grab that. Where did my eye vendor go? Oh, it's in my inventory. One eye, two rods, and extra dust, and... okay. Please... take this off. Ta-da! Oh! Okay. I can work with this. Does that have extra? Oh, it has range. Haha, <laughs> that's awkward. It has so much range. Wait. That's so good. You only get one hook? That's okay. I can make, dude. I can just like zoom. That's so fun. Anyways, um, that'd be a little productive. I have not yet made a glider. I should make one soon. Uh, I didn't kill cows, which I think leaves me with no wool to make a glider with. All right, so my coils got sniped. My... What's being made in here now? Uh-oh. Alright, pause. Oh, I see what's happening. Our item pipe can't transport items fast enough to run all those.
Once okay, so I'm gonna make these circuit boards. Once the circuit boards are started, I will work on power infrastructure. again without being sad what even are you making mag iron rod plus steel oh are these for the energy inputs nice can we do plastic on LV So this is LV. Distilling, we don't even have to crack it. Not the one. That's not the one. Do we have to crack it? Oh, we do have to crack if we want to get ethylene directly. From wood gas, that's a terrible ratio. Wait. But we, we can crack in a chemical reactor. Right, worst case scenario. So which of these has the best yield, I guess? All these yields suck. to go through multiple cracking steps all right well we can deal with horrible yield so we probably we how does that go we drill oil we drill raw oil we single block distillery it probably into light we chem reactor the sulfur out of the light we then Bracket in a chemical reactor to get some god awful yields. You have 500 millibuckets per light. And then we single block distillery that into ethylene at 50 millibuckets per. Buck 50 millibuckets per. Okay, what? let's start by making these circuits. I'm gonna need to make a lot of machines for this. The yield is awful, but it does beat having... It, it beats not having... Oh, it's not going to make this machine sound. No, this machine is now done with its job. I can now swap that to no circuit and do this. We lose 93%, but we get a little bit of ethylene out of it. Yeah? I mean, we only need a little bit of polyethylene, right, for conduits. 200 millibuckets per tick per connection. Okay, well, we can't make that one. Oh, but this is polyvinyl chloride, which also needs chlorine. Item conduits, though. Oh, wait, so I don't need polyethylene. I need PVC. Although if we're setting up one, we can you you fork at ethylene, right? Is is vibrant a blast furnace alloy? It is. But it's a Cooper nickel blast furnace alloy, so we're actually really close to that too. Alright, so let's let me write down what machines I need for this. We need pump. To get raw oil. Uh, chemical. Oh no, distillery. 
to get light oil. M reactor to get the no, the distillery is sulfuric light oil. Chem reactor turns it into regular light oil. Now the hydrogen sulfide. Can I electrolyze this? I can't. So I need an electrolyzer to get my hydrogen back. Electrolyzer, reclaim hydrogen. Um... Then from light oil, I need another distillery. No, I need a M reactor. A light or some some form of cracked. Which wait, can you not crack light oil? Oh, it's light fuel is what it's called. I am using a notepad. Well, it's the notepad that's on the other screen that only I can see. Uh, since we clearly can't make a cracking unit. So I need... Yeah, a chemical reactor to crack it, but which of the deep crack variants do I want? Hello, other Jimmy. This one gives me 40 per bucket. Severely gives is that 30? That is worse. And what about moderately? Is there no moderately? We can only lightly or severely crack it. Okay. So to lightly steam cracked light oil. I need a way to make the steam, which is probably a fluid heater. The boil steam. Chem reactor to lightly crack it. Another single block distillery to turn that into ethylene. Now if I turn that into PVC, That is vinyl chloride, which is ethylene air? No, it's ethylene chlorine. Wait, where am I going to get this chlorine from? Let me reference, thanks. But this is this is to make polyethylene, right? It's not the polyethylene that that I that's gating me from making pipes, from making conduits. So this is PVC. Getting to the ethylene is relative because once you're at ethylene, getting to polyethylene is you can just add air, or if you want to be fancy, you can add oxygen. But once we're at ethylene. To get from ethylene to PVC involves a lot of chlorine. So we're gonna have to. Okay, so once we're at. Wait, that's ethane. Wait, can we just get ethane from distillation? Do we get more of it? What lightly
If you no, I want lightly steam crack light. No, we get a lot less ethane than ethyl wait, where's ethylene? Oh. Oh, I was looking at toluene earlier. Uh Alright, let's just let's start by going this far. And I'll figure out the rest as we go, because my brain hurts. Did you make I spent so long looking at recipes the game thought I was AFK. Oh, we're not going to need toluene until we start actual multi-block distillationing. Alright, so that's that. I have a stack of boards, two stacks of resistors, two stacks of vacuum tubes, and three stacks of cable. Is that enough to make? And I need a stack of steel plate. Steel plate. Doink, machine now. That's not going to despawn before a slot opens up, right? I need more steel. Who are... Ow, ow. I got plenty of steel. Uh... If all... F Wait, if this is all running... Why aren't these cables burning? I guess because there's not four amps reaching them. We should swap those cables out to eight amp cables before we burn them though, not after. This is a thought. Anyways, I need to turn these blocks into... lights. I'm, okay. Here, let's a chest here so we can enqueue things properly. I need one stack of you. Yeah, the first block that the 4x... I'm just going to make a bunch more of those cables right now. Conductive iron is so easy to make, so free to make. There's not an assembler recipe for circuits, I think. Not, not till the circuit assembler, right? Yeah, not till, not till the circuit assembler. Although, we can... I mean, it's only MV circuits. And our first MV circuit... Well, not that. Okay. Circuit... This one. Our first one we make by hand. Oh, but that requires diodes. And this requires... Wait, no, this just requires a mixer. Hmm. Oh, someone's already... doing it.
Uh, what am I waiting on? Fuel plate. Hello, Mr. Bending Machine. Can you bend faster? Five more. When I do bending for power at LV, we have to... Yes, we go through the coke oven. Coke oven fluid extractor distillery benzene. Ah, feels good. Alright, there's a stack of circuits. I unlocked a new cape. Wow. I hate making circuits. Um, all right, so if I'm going to do this, let's start on polyethylene. So can I? No, I can't transfer oil interdimensionally like at all. Man, polyethylene is so much a bite off. Maybe we do power first. We do power. What? Is there anything here that gives other recommendations? Is it just Steam? Steam? I mean, I'm trying to think about what we did in NH. I think we started just straight up burning light fuel in NH. But burning light fuel is that very efficient, and I can't actually get light fuel into this dimension. Right? Because I don't have any form of interdimensional fluid transport. So if I'm not going to burn light fuel, it really is, we have to make a burnable fuel out of steam. I mean, we can do a bunch of smaller steam subnets. How, like if we can make, if we can do like 10 amps of LV, I think we can get through we can get through LV, right? And this thing can do... What is it? Two milliliters? Or two liters per EU? So like two full pipes of this can make 10 amps of LV? Yeah, I think these guys are... These guys have power under control. But we'll leave power to them. In that case, I'll, I'll just start on... Setting up a distant uh, ethylene producer. Uh, all right, so for that, pull up my list of machines again. I need a pump. Basic will do. Can we make ender chest? I mean, if we do that, why don't we just make an ender tank? Wait, what? Ender tank doesn't have a recipe? Oh, we can ender tank it, so I guess we can dump it into cells. Oh, then we can, we can actually do all the processing here. We just have to put the pump on that side. We can pump into a tank, into an ender chest. Yeah, that'll make life a lot easier. And yeah, I can just burn the raw oil directly, right? Uh, as local power. It's not very... Oh my god, it's so awful. How much energy does a pump take to run? Sixty-four EU per operation. Well, that, that's like no energy, right? It, it's not sixty-four EU per tick or per. Like it's sixty-four EU per bucket. So yeah, it, this thing uses like literally no power. Huh. 
<laughs> uh, give me this one. Mag some rods. next in cape it's always something uh tin screws regular bronze so i need at least four We can we can make screws efficiently now, right? We can make them more efficiently anyways. Okay. Good. We can't Yeah, so I have to Oh wait no, we can Is there a screw mold? There's no screw mold. Life sucks. Is there a bolt mold? There's not even a bolt mold. I'll say we can fluid solidify into a screw. So we can't make bolts super efficiently. We can make them semi efficiently. I'm just thinking, in, in NH, there's screw and bolt molds. So you can fluid solidifier into screws and bolts. But here, for now, I think we have to saw these in half. And I don't have the cutting machine to saw them in half efficiently. So we saw them in half by hand. I guess they could make a cutting. Oh no, wait, cutting machine was cobalt brass gated? Yeah, just the gear. Actually, more efficient to make the buzzsaw blade directly. Than it is to make the gear and turn it into a buzzsaw. Oh no, because we can fluid solidify her. Uh, what was cobalt brass? Is it just cobalt plus. Oh, we can't mix it by hand, so we have to make a mixer, but a mixer is useful. I'm down to make a mixer. Ta da! Made a mixer! Let's get those wires too. Uh. Active iron. Wait, I need. Can I do this? I'm going to move this autoclave. I'm allowed to do this, right? To pickaxe it? And I love modern Greg Tech. It doesn't punch me in the face for using a pickaxe. Don't need wire cutters though to plug things. Wire cutter.
Bye, lady. Where did I place this? Perfect use. We get light. We get the access to the machine. Alright, so anyways, now that I have a mixer, I can make cobalt brass. Yeah, this this wire is lossless. That's why I can stand on it without uh, dying. I like the new sounds. They're also a lot less uh, loud. Well, maybe not tool sounds. Tool sounds are, weren't loud to begin with. Machine sounds. Like, I don't know what machine's humming right now, but like, that's a pleasant hum. Right? It's not like a lot of old machines, their working noise was just obnoxious. Although some, some current machines also just have an obnoxious working noise. But if it's cobalt, aluminum, brass. Oh, wait, alum no, we can make aluminum dust. We just can't blast it. We probably have to electrolyze something for this. But we have plenty of options. Like even mods MV. Blast we can even blast it. Uh but I need an electrolyzer anyway. Steel plates. How's our steel plate maker doing? Steel plate maker is not making steel plates. Oh, that is. Uh, what was... I guess it's technically a plate cheaper to do it in the assembler. Oh, but it takes polyethylene. JK. No polyethylene. Wait, there's a bunch of LV machine hulls in this inventory. Uh, basic electrolyte. Now, I just have to find the right thing to electrolyze. Of our options, You electrolyzable in LV at I don't think we have sapphires. Oh we have some. Oh we have plenty. I smell you, you become one if I pulverize you. Oh, we don't get that yet, though. No nice byproducts. Alright, crush that. Nothing in here that just happens to have... 
aluminum is there can we keep the electrolyzed redstone yet is that also Electro wait can we not electrolyze redstone at all Oh no, you centrifuge it first. But I guess that's not a great deal. It's a long time. And we can just we can just process Ruby, but I assume this is also MV to electrolyze Ruby. No fun allowed. Right, once I have this, I can Rush it again, but for now I will just use the. It's really nice that you can click at on machines through the uh, through the cover. Like in NH, you can't click on a cover to get to the machine that's behind it. Oh, not CP. It's not worth centrifuging this, right? Well, at four seconds each. All right, fine. Is this a centrifuge or an electrolyzer I made? It's an electrolyzer. What is, right, centrifuge is a machine that big sucks because it uses four circuits. Oh well. Oh wait, we have a centrifuge. It's just that somebody put it in a weird spot. So I didn't think to look there. Oh well. That's so I make a stack of circuits at a time, so for the next three minutes, you have all the circuits you could ever want. And then these electrolyze? And we get some oxygen in the process. Uh, and we get no power in the process. Oh, it's because someone's charging their batteries. Okay. Fine. I didn't need that much aluminum anyways, right? Let's, uh... Actually, we probably need bigger item pipes to conveniently plug those in, so I'm not even going to bother for now. Okay, doesn't work in that crafting station. I need... Cobalt brass? Yeah, so that plus brass plus cobalt. We have some cobalt ores. I want a staff of traveling. Uh, I guess since I need the dust, I'll process it. Yoink. Up the line. Tell anyone. What happens if I centrifuge you? I don't care. I mean, I try. I tried to find one for like 15 minutes earlier. We do have an EBF. We have no way to get power to it though. That's another. And then brass. We have zinc. I guess now that we have a centrifuge, we can process our spellerite. I hope no one avoided our spellerite. No. 
What is that spell, right? It's not in crush form. It's not in dust form. Where did I spell it go? I think it probably became zinc. <laughs> if I search zinc ingot. I think that used to be our spell, all right? All right, well, that's fine. We have some brass, yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Brass is zinc, copper. Zinc, copper. Copper. We have a whole 16 copper ingots. I think we can get our arsenic from real bar. That's all we had a bunch of real bar, which is otherwise not useful. Any of this copper variants? Hey, found some copper. <laughs> not a lot of it. Hey, found some more copper. That's true, I don't know why I'm making so much cobalt press. <sighs> I need more than six. I mean, it, it's our... Spellerate is our source of gallium for now. Right, if you've processed it down to... Spellerite dust? <laughs> Thanks for the six Spellerite ore, though. You can electrolyze that for a chance of gallium dust. <laughs> what am I going to do with six Spellerite? <laughs> it's an amazing. I'm just going to put it in the seam grinder. <laughs> yeah, gall gallium sucks super early. There's no... Okay, so we, we've come to the conclusion that this is enough brass. Because I only need one gear of it. Which is seven. So actually, let's do two batches. Fourteen. Excuse me, Mr. Macerating Machine. Are we processing olivine? What does that even do? <laughs> I think it's very fast at crushing ores, right? Or not at ores, I think it's. Yeah, five ingots. Or five seconds per eight. This goes into the mixer. Circuit on one. Any machine here have a circuit it is not using and will never use. Nope. Oh look, a spare circuit. What? Seven brass and aluminum and a cobalt. Aluminum? Oh, that's cobalt tight. That's not cobalt. I have to smelt it into a cobalt and then. Or I guess I could extract the arsenic out of it. Uh, I cannot extract the arsenic out of it. I can convert the arsenic into cobalt. Whoops, I ignored your warning. Oh, this is literal alchemy.
may have been faster to wait for the Alright, 90 seconds later that I'll be done mixing, and then I can make the cutting machine. Real quick, let's mix up a batch of uh, lubricant as well. We don't need a huge batch. We can still create a sulfur, right? I'm going to need a lot of distilleries anyways, so we can temporarily use one for this. Oh, this is what uses four. Oh no, this is one pump. We can metal bend a long rod into it. We have copper rods. A bronze rod. Bronze ingots. Doesn't look like we have copper rods. Doesn't look like we have copper ingots either. There's a certain struggle involving copper going on right now. I might have to go mine for copper. I wonder, has... Since the last time I looked in this chest for copper... Has copper shown up in it? I'm somehow not expecting it. It appears we have failed. Although we have MV now. That's good. Even if only in small amount. And I found some copper along the way, so I consider this an absolute win. Give it 32. Shame there weren't just copper rods sitting around. Alright, I need, well it's only one, right? Do I have a hammer on me? I do. Not a very healthy hammer. What machine turned this into a spring? Big machine? Does make sense. There will always be more demand for basic materials. Oh. The other one. Wow, seven whole motors. That's huge. Uh, I want the one that uses rubber ring. All my tin screws are gone. I made so many tin screws earlier. And by so many, I think I mean... Eight? Wait. Maybe I can make that cutting machine now. Maybe we do this before we make the screws. This is not in a furnace, right? And I only need four of them?
one of these. Lathe that. Oh, yeah, I can remember where. What was his steak? Wait. That's envy. I have to make it by hand. All right, turn back into plates. I can't imagine I need a cobalt brass gear for anything, right? Turn back into... Turn back into liquid. Turn liquid into plate. This to that using literally every tool in the world. This into that. And I guess for now you get to cut your first rods with a bucket of water. <laughs> Only the best cutting fluids. Oh, there are my tin screws. Oh well, we'll make more. Okay, cutting with water is so slow. What is it? Is it half the speed? Or is it quarter of the speed? It's half the speed of lubricant. Hey, yeah, I did uh, take a look at that. I put a, I put some filters on. I don't. I mean, is it better? I don't know. You tell me. You guys tell me. But I think it's better. I hope it's better. Question mark. Um, right, so now I need the distillery. Probably also make it with regular rubber rings. Cool, I'm glad it is better. Nope. Third time's a charm. Let's just make one distillery. I hate pumps. And this can just directly turn. French clues. See ya, Shiro. Uh, this. Need a circuit for this too, probably. Was that unused circuit? Maybe it's no longer unused. There we go. 
All right, water, get out of there. You are no longer needed. Bonk. Bonk. Nope. I do it. It's right. Wow, look at that. So lewd. Hey, Papa Will. Yeah, this stream's a fair bit earlier than my last few. Hopefully that's a bit better for at least some people. Look at how fast that is. 12 seconds per. Um, anyways, while that cuts... You know, if I'm going to make two ender chests to transport the cells... I'm going to need more blaze rods. We, yeah. <laughs> Is there really no easy way of getting blaze rods until T4 micro miner? T4 and a half micro miner? No, we concluded that it was. We have to, yeah, make one of the... Okay, so it's either Ardite, but that... Oh, oh, and it's only LV. Are there Ardite ores? Oh, there's no Ardite ore, I think. I think Ardite ore is not a thing. Yeah, I think it's more you make Ardite with Blaze than you make Blaze with Ardite. <laughs> I think we, the is the the elemental reduction fluid. Oh wait, no, this no, that's HV. So I'm gonna have to go back into the Lost Cities to find more. Well, you have jetpack. You you go raid Lost Cities. <laughs> well, well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. I, I passed a bunch of them last night because I didn't think they were useful. Turns out, turns out, they are horrifically useful. Oh well. Um, now I can make the pump. Yeah, the one making it with charcoal and sulfur is HV though. And. I have a feeling HV is a little ways off. Is there an easy way to... That's an MV extruder. I guess the best we can do now is cut plates. That's tin rotor. Is it four or is it five? That's five, right? Yeah, we could. I mean, we'd have to make MV circuits to make anything meaningfully MV, and I, I just dislike making MV circuits from LV circuits. It hurts a little bit. Uh, that's a multiple of five. I don't make loaders. What if? I also had already done it. They only make three of these. Oh, because the fourth one's in my inventory. I was about to say, I need four for a pump. Was, was it? The tables don't see each other's inventories, so it results in me overmaking things. Oh well. Not a critical problem. Why does this suit block so many wrenches in it? Okay, so the pump. 
I mean, we could just power it with a solar boiler. Oh, but then I need a water source. Yeah, we'll just power it with a... It is combust, or is it semi-fluid? Uh, oil. Or is it gas turbine? No, this is not a gas. I, I can rule out gas turbine. It is a combustion. We need to mag some iron. Yeah, it's also sad that that, that table doesn't see our inventory. Wait, we can... can... we do digital... Bridge? These need to be laved. That's not a... These need to be magnetized. Is this is energy acceptor. That's easy. Do we detour? Although I mean, the ener we obviously need more than the energy acceptor to make. We need like at least a couple, probably four K ish. I will. I'll settle for one Ks. Probably need an arc furnace to make the glass reasonably, but that I can do. So it's an LV circuit per. Let's do this is make this is an alloy furnace it's recipe, right? Yeah. I mean a bunch of 1k drives doesn't actually hold a lot of stuff. Although I guess we don't need a lot of stuff to be in it. We basically just need the contents of those chests. Alright, this requires MV machine components, and that's a lot of aluminum. Alright, so I guess we're a little short on being able to meaningfully use it. Well, naturally, 4Ks are better than 1Ks, but I mean, you can only... You make do with what you got. Uh... Six more motors. I hope that wasn't all of my steel. That was. And that was all of my tin cable, too. How's our steel looking? Our steel's looking like we need more iron in our steel blast furnaces. Although we can make wrought iron easily now, right? Uh, plate. Maybe we make that... That alloy... thingy. Or not that, that, uh... Arc. Arc thingy. Can I not just make like four of these? Up a step short. Graphite does 4x tin, okay. Oxygen from bottom? Nice. Should have some graphite somewhere. Oh, someone processed a tiny bit of it. it's still in this chest. With that, where'd our graphite go? Might still be in ore form. Can I spell you directly? Yeah, I want dust. Oh, there's so much copper being brought. Okay, I'll just pulverize the dust.
future Jimmy can worry about the lack of yield. How are you making oxygen? I was just want to yoink a little bit from the uh get down there easy. From there. Oh, you're electrolyzing silicon dioxide. Wait, I thought you couldn't do this anymore. I thought this was nerfed. Guess not. I have a fluid tank on me. Imagine if I had a sap of traveling. It'd be so much easier. Now we can anneal our copper, right? That's huge. What did I need annealed copper? Oh no, this is also more to we can rot our iron. Yeah, oh my god, rot iron is so much easier to make through this. Now this these the art furnace now only uses one amp. It's no longer a three amp machine. Oh, we can do it in blocks even? Wow, what a deal. Wait, I was lied to. An ingot's 2.8, a block is 25. No, I think it's the same type. Scammed. Although it means you don't have to babysit the machine, so... Uh... Do that, and that again. We'll need both wrought iron and... But with wrought, wrought iron, we can make our blast furnaces a lot faster. We have more iron? We should have a lot of iron, right? A lot of this is not iron. I wish the K-Hockey would do like all the stacks in your inventory. Shift K does that. Oh, perfect. You know, it does make sense. It is a feature that would be very useful. But it does make sense that someone would have done it already. Uh, maybe we don't do all of our... Maybe we leave a little bit. Blocks of... That's blocks. Oh, we have plenty. Okay, we'll just rot all of it. What is under this? How close am I? I did just run a pipe. Is oxygen hot? Actually, oxygen is gaseous, so I can't transport it in wooden pipes, can I? Gas is mainly. Doesn't make sense. What is an easy to make fluid pipe that does not leak? Oh, does every material have a pipe?
little tin plates. Yeah, we have bronze pipes. I'll just yoink them. Let's see, I want you work at this wrench. Oh my god, I love Greg Tech. Never dreamed the day would happen, the day would come that I could shift click a portable tank with the Greg Tech wrench. Anymore. I piped, yeah. It's... Oh, if I didn't just you are out of power. Oh, this thing can only run, like... It can only run the... Arc Furnace or the Electrolyzer? Alright, that's fine. When the Arc Furnace is done running, it'll be the Electrolyzer's turn to run. Wait, does it turn these into black? Or does it turn these into ingots? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to run the item type then. Wait. Hmm. Alright. Change of plan. That's... Hopper goes there. Fluid pipe goes like this. Wait, but now this fluid pipe blocks my item pipe from going further. Machine face that way. Wait, do these machines accept input their front face? Oh my god? Is that is that just a universal thing? I can't pipe in the bottom, but I have to run a, uh, I have to run the, uh, item conduit, or the item pipe down here, the output pipe. Yeah, not, not in NH, you can't insert the front, and that was, ugh. shall I, shall we say I, I have, I have words for that mechanic, <laughs> and they're not nice ones. Yeah, I've forgotten how nice GTC, the, the modern GTCs are. Uh... Oh wait, we can, they don't have to be 10 item pipes. Also, in, in NH, like, you, you only have, like, five different total choices of what to make your item pipes out of. Alright, you output bottom act data model up. Output bottom connect what? Bottom connect data model. There is indeed no DML. 
Dude, these coils look so cool. Where's the input bus? Oh, up there. Yeah, they, they actually look like they're hot, which, you know, they are. Love it. Uh, we can compress some of this. Get on my Aha! Now it's in someone else's inventory. Successfully made it not my problem. Uh, Alright, so I've made the pump. I need to make the combustion generator still. And I'm glad it it's highly performing. Because one of the, I mean, even in like Omni, which is, a, or Nami here, which is about as lightweight as Greg Tech Packs could possibly get. Like, once you get into the mid-game and late-game, your frame rate is typically, shall we say, not the best. Well, the fact that it doesn't put... What? Did it not make steel small gears this way? No. Wait, what? Can you not extract your... Oh, no, it's not the next tab. I assume this is just MV. Unlucky. Now we can. This is 64, so we can run it off the LV line. Alright, well. Wait. Can't we make pistons? Oh no, we can't make them out of iron. Alright. We're making small gears a painful way. Too, right? Don't have any steel rods left though. Steel nope. Maybe it's just my building style that results in having everything in the same spot relatively compact. That results in having no frames. I always end up with no frames. I assume I can't make this any easy way. We gonna do eight to one in an alloy smelter. Okay. Much sad. Oh, we can make steel in our blast furnace now, too, huh? Always. We'll have an alloy. Alloy smelter is still steam. Yeah, I guess well, when we get to the late game here, we'll see how bad the lag gets. It ended up pretty bad in, I mean, this is irrelevant, but in uh, NH, by, by IV, I think I was in the 30s. Of FPS. And 30 FPS is not a pleasant amount of FPS. I 
The combustor generators suck to me. There's so many components. Gas turbines are so much nicer. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, with rotors basically being just one step to make, they use an extra circuit. But in exchange, like, they don't use two pistons. I'd much rather make gas turbines. All right, and then I need some type of tank. I guess the and arrow tank's fine. No, I, I need to send items both ways. No, I only need to retrieve items because I can have the tank. Wait, wait, so pump sends items into tank or pump sends fluid into tank. Tank fills some type of cell, sends it into ender chest. And then the tank, if it's a Greg Tech tank, can auto output? Is that true? Can, are there like low voltage fluid tanks that are before the super tank? Not you. Doesn't look like it. All right, I guess we'll use the under IO one then. But that means we need a way to move the items around with filters. What does it take to make item filter? Zinc foils? That's fine. Have plenty of zinc. Oh, can drums fill cells? Please. Well, I mean, like, the this can fill cells, right? By just piping them in. And I know soup at least in NH tanks can fill cells. Okay, this can't fill cells. Useless. Can super tanks not fill cells? Like they don't they don't just have the cell fill drain UI, like basically one of these. That would make them a lot less super. They can? Okay. Then they, they retain their superness. Is this how you make input buses? Input buses? Wow, it's so nice. Uh, okay, so we have a pump, a generator, a tank. I'm going to need a couple conveyors and a couple filters. Also, this filter recipe is so nice. Did I... No, I did. Uh Yeah, I'm just using NH as the comparison because that's the most recent Greg tech I've played. And it's been so long since I've played UTC that I kind of forget its features. Last time I played GTC, we didn't even have super tanks. There was not a tank in the pack that automatically voided excess. So I always, every time I wanted to to implement void excess behavior, oh, they're, they're not in GTC at all. Okay, but yeah, every time I wanted to, the void excess behavior, and I have to have a trash can on lower priority. Of my 
own line. How does this latch recipes? It latches recipes based on last, right? Yeah, I don't remember the exact time. 2021 sounds about right, two years ago. I remember the version number was 1.3, I think. Or at least it was going to be 1.3. One point three still hasn't come. <laughs> Exa, what are you doing? How oh, has this still? <laughs> you have a release candidate. I feel like there was a release candidate for one point three the last time I played. <laughs> That's wonderful. I understood. Someone stole my recipe. Stealing my recipe back. Alright, and then I need a cell to fill. Uh, I guess I could make do with this, like... Well, okay, let's just make the... Right deck cell. Extrude two tending gets burnt? Why not? That's an extruder. We don't have an extruder. I can bend on 12, one steel plate per sure. Or one steel ingot. See any steel ingots? You are still processing that, but there should be Plenty of raw iron. You know, ship K is remarkably un unpleasant hockey to hit with one hand. Like, neither of the ships are in a great place. How much faster is this? Like half the time as before? I mean, yeah, if the build is just like up on on Curse Forge, then it's basically released. <laughs> Even if it's a beta. Although the whole thing with Curse Forge packs being impossible to import half the time. With different launchers. Oh, you can't press K to come. Oh, you can't do it in that table. This table big sucks for for that. You, you need to do it in like a regular crafting table or a crafting table on a stick. Um, what was I doing? I needed that steel for something. I needed this steel in this machine on 12. Not 12. Oh, it's the plate. Ooh, good thing it was an LV machine. I didn't accidentally make a double plate. Right, back to 12, you go. I suppose I probably want more than one. More than two total cells. Of you know what? For now, I'll just use uh, these cells. Two of those is enough. Alright. And then I just need an ender chest. Ah. Huh. It's okay. We have one more blaze rod. Uh, we have two more blaze rods. Wow. Uh, yeah, we'll turn them both. 
<laughs> whoever wanted to make potions, well, too bad. They're bla they're blaze rods now. Um. Heal rods? Yeah. Off my crap. Have obsidian. No, we do. Find it last time. Unless it all got used up. Victory. And a piece of wool. All right. We have four string. Easy. One ender chest. Now I have to make the other ender chest to make this useful, but let's go set up the overworld side of this system. Well, this is enough, right? Uh, no, I need conveyors to move items around. Probably need... Two conveyors? Why not go with an inner tank? Because inner tank doesn't have a recipe. Huh. I don't know. GTC has Ender Fluid. Wait, how does those work? Transports fluids with a wireless Ender Con. Huh? Well, they're HV. So they just teleport. Wait, what's that? Ender. Transport fluids with a wireless ender connection. So, is it just I, I need two of these? You put one on one tank, one on the other, and it basically links the two? That's kind of sick. Not even that expensive. I mean, it's like an HV sensor and transmitter, but that's fine. Cool. I look forward to those when we get HV. I mean, no point testing them out now if I can't use them, right? I'll just be sad that I can't use them. But yeah, it's basically like fluid P2P, except interdimensional, and you don't have to connect them at all. And all that jazz. Well, that's kind of sick. It's like fluid P2P, but better. Um, Alright, I need to find an oil bay. There's one. See a closer one? That one looks closer. Huh. Yeah, those covers seem awesome. I don't need a void access for that. I, I talk about on the fluid covers. I mean, if you want void access behavior, I think you just pump it into a super tank. Do I have building blocks? 
What are these slabs? Sorry, whoever's house this is. You are now my building block. Whoops. They have the water and oil block with that. Which block's the middle? I actually can't tell. I don't think my waypoint is right. It's a block right in front that's the middle, right? Which means this is where I want the pump to go. I want you to output into a pipe so that I can split you. One side goes to the combustion generator, which needs... Oh, I didn't bring a wire. I guess I can make do without a wire. I just need to put the generator here. I do need one bucket to bootstrap. You put that way. Wait, do you run even if full? Oh no, you are pumping. It's just that the pump goes into the oil. Or into the... Wait, do you not need mining pipe? Are you just magical? I forgot. I thought that you needed pipe. I guess not. I guess you're just magical. Do you have a vertical range? Working area 40 by 40. But how far down do you go? It'll keep pumping it magically? Sick. I love magic. And... Alright. So now just to handle the other stuff, which is... I don't... I think if I run one more piece, it'll at least a little bit prioritize sending oil to the pump over the tank. Alright, so that fills a tank with that. And then I want to extract from the tank. First of many cover oh, my first cover. Export uh oh. Oh wait, the fluid tank itself does that, doesn't it? Because it only lets you extract the output slot. Let me my filter back. It can push and pull, but I have to make sure it only pulls the empty cell. But I can have it push. It'll only ever push the right item. But on the other side, I still need one filter. But on this side, I still need you to only pull empty cells. Uh, how about you respect MBT and respect damage? There we go.
And how about... Nope, no hammer on me. Alright, you don't have to shut up, my bad. Uh, did I build it in a chunk? I did. I'm the best. Cool, so this would pump. Now does it, once it's, I, I just want to see, once it's full I want to make sure it stops. Oh, is it will? No, I don't think the. Wait, yeah, that must be how it partially filled. Okay, I'll have to swap this for. Uh, yeah, you're right. We'll have to swap this for, for the one bucket cells that don't part fill. I just want to see that this stops when it's full. Wait, will it void a part bucket? No, I guess it just chills. And you don't use fuel while not actually making energy, right? Looks good to me. Okay. So yeah, let's go. Get some cells that don't suck. steel plates for this. I made two. Ow. And these... We're gonna need more steel. How do we make in the blast furnace again? It takes a little bit of oxygen and 15 seconds per huh? It's not that much faster than doing it in here. It's I guess it's twice as fast. And it doesn't use coke. Does it start from rot? It's oh if you start from a regular it's even slower wait it's even worse to start from steel dust what damn As for now, I'll stick to using the blast furnaces until we run out of... Like four and one, two will be aluminum to try and work for me. Um... He's still just hanging out. Oh, you doing steel? Steel plates is hanging out. You like mine now? I probably don't need a full stack of spells. I think I can make do with like half a stack. But I'll turn these all. Yeah, I'll turn all but two. Five is enough for being able to set the filter. Did I call it pump? I want briefly. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll we'll find a use for the oil in those cells. I want you to filter that whitelist. 
or where do I put myself? Huh? Did I leave them in the chest? Another day, another day of factory work, you know? Them's the breaks. No days off. Let me briefly disconnect that. So if I put these in here, they get sent here, they get filled. Well, this thing fills cells really slowly. That's fine. We don't need, I mean, I guess it fills cells faster than the pump can pump cells. So it's fast enough. And then I can empty out real quick too. All right, and then the other side, I just need Another, oh, I guess if I need another ender chest, I may as well stay out here and go find more blaze rods. Or if we pop side these buildings. Oh, I should kill the cows I see too, huh? Because they give leather. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's chunk loaded already. A chest. Sure doesn't look like we've been here. This is the Ender Hook. It's pretty darn good. Oh, that looks like a... Get it? Yeah. What's a redstone hook? These hooks are awesome. Oh, this is the one that gives you creative flight in the boundary? Yeah, this seems fine. I could just make a jetpack. I'm pretty sure we have the technology for that. Mini anvil, direct, and power. All right, I'm sure someone else can make use of the direct. Premium crush wonder. That seems good. Uh, it's good in a sag mill, but sag mills do not exist. Seems not good. A chest. Yeah, and we can even go up to hardened here. I think. Cause the leadstone, the leadstone drop pack, if memory serves me right, kind of sucks. Look, look. Howard and jump. Uh, I'm sure someone will need it. Yes, I'll take the emeralds. Can we make a sap of her? Maybe. Yeah, we can. Once we make vibrant. Alloy, which I think we can already make now that we have the blast furnace. But suppose I don't have to make, I don't have to yoink a uh, traveling weapon. This is the top. Come back here. Bye! Oh, bye! No, you didn't jump off the edge. Oh, 
Power Weber? How much does a glider take? Oh, we can put a glider on the dark steel too. But I want this glider. Twelve? Okay, we'll get a little more. Wow, look at that. Two two brewing Is that enough? That's four. That's enough. Alright, we'll take a uh, we'll we'll look a little long. I not reconnect it? Uh, that's entirely possible. We'll, we'll get that on our way back. I mean, it's not like anything's using it yet, so. At the bottom? Yeah. Does this layout even have? Guess we'll find out. Oh, so much quartz here. I don't, I don't know if this building layout has anything in it. Oh, there's spawner. Ooh, double chests. Double chests that someone has been. Double chest of disappointment. In fact, I think that someone is even me. But that's only the ground floor. Wait. These are for their teleportation? No, maybe not. Ender RO can teleport rails, like rail carts, and their contents using dimensional transceivers. Not the chest I was literally just at. This is, this is what we call object permanence. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it goes away. But yeah, Ender RO can teleport rails and their riders with dimensional transceivers, which is pretty cool. Five, yeah. Ooh, that's when you when they spawn in late like that, they never have treasure. That's the world gem bug that causes them to not have treasure. And I don't know what causes them to spawn late though. Yep. Yeah. But I miss a stand. Rip. Those are actually useful. In fact, those are the. Now that we can make the traveling staves, those are probably the only thing that's actually useful. Oh, hey. Yeah. The fact that we saw it spawn, there was no way it was going to have treasure. <laughs> I was like, I knew one was going to spawn here. How do I know if a building has been searched? I don't really. I mean, if it has holes in glass like this, we know it's been searched. But short of such obvious barkings, we don't really know.
Alright, this is probably enough. All I needed was a couple stands anyways. I'll take a... Okay. Uh, are these useful for anything? Is this for the ring that we can't make? Yes, that. Premium Hungry Wonder. Yes, please. 2.8. No, please. Premium Insatiable Good Spelting Good Hungry Wonder. Nope. Good Hot and Hand. Nope. These suck. Uh... Wait, I've been here. That type of damage pattern to the room is quite indicative of me being... Yeah. Okay, I guess we're just done here. Um, Let's go fix that pump. And then let's start setting up processing. With those two empty cells. You know, actually, that's a good idea to have a more explicit way to mark them as looted, as opposed to just hoping for the best the next time I go look for buildings. Can we? We can. I don't want to RTP in here. I can. Al I can also just RTP random teleport every time I want to start looking for stuff. And odds are, I'll random teleport somewhere I haven't been before. This thing have leather in it. You could just go up there. Organization. Be damned. All right, one more ender chest, please. Oh, you know, I probably should have made these not on the default Ender Chest channel. Oh well. some steel plates and that's not some steel rod no wait I need four longs, so eight total. Wait, does this pack still use SOG too? What does it What does it use for the higher tier machines then? Are these just basic Greg Tech machines now? 
What else did SLG do? I actually don't. I I don't actually know what the split of functionality was. I see. So it basically still. Ha I, I mean, I saw that we still have uh, the multi blocks are from reg regicality, but I guess all the besides the multi blocks, they're just part of CEU. I look forward to the processing chains. Those were fun in uh in NH. There were there were a lot of them, and perhaps they were a little excessive, but they were fun. Except for the fact that because there were so many multi-blocks involved in making them, they were, uh, by the time you, like when you build it, you know, there's like 10 multi-blocks involved in making the process work, right? Um, by the time, it, or but because there's so many multi-blocks, any single one of them, having it, uh, any single one tripping offline due to like a maintenance issue would cause the entire chain to stop, which was very not fun. Wait, the pyrolyze is making coke. Is that what it's supposed to do? Oh, you're making you're using it for fennel for now. To make a fennel boards. Okay. Understandable. Um There will be benzene soon, I'll just make this whole thing powered off benzene instead of steam. Wait, you need two under chests too? What do you need two under chests for? Oh, to get wood from the farm? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Ender Chests require... Each Ender Chest requires someone to go into Lost Cities and find eight brewing stands. Or four brewing stands. For now, maybe you have to put the farm nearby. I don't know. You're, you're I mean, I guess you just go... Go brewing stand it up. Um uh, All right. What are these bears. So anyways, let's start. We have to decant the uh the cells that are in here, right? Oh, wait, I guess I need these then to decant. This tank will do. Right, I will build the process in. Maybe we can fit it in this half grid square. No, but this half grid square is where the machines are going to continue now. I bet we can fit it in this. Well, we can definitely fit it in this grid square. Alright, um, I need to selectively f extract uh, 
I need to selectively extract. Did I put that pipe? The filled cells. I wonder, do these, do these filters, don't give me the trash slot item, do these filters accept ghost item? Well, I guess there's no raw oil cell, although I can, I can make a raw oil cell appear. No, I can't, never mind. They do not accept ghost items from there. They do accept ghost items from there. But oh, they don't accept it from pins. Eh, good enough. Um, no, respect, please. Respect those, please. Whitelist. Import. That sends them to here, and then you can just push those back. Where they get filled on the other side. Wow, build your own ender tank. Let's get some dye and set these to the black channel. Uh, any idea why some pins have an R on them? I have no clue what the R means. They also showed their mod twice. <laughs> Yeah, I have absolutely no clue. I guess we can try. Pin another... Oh, is it... The R is if I pin through recent? I cannot pin it again. The R means you also save the recipe. You hold control over them to see the saved recipe. Whoa! That's kind of cool. Wait, why is this one in the corner of my screen and giant? But the other ones are vaguely tagged to my cursor. Eh, whatever. Um, alright, I need black dye. My favorite form of black dye... is nowhere to be seen. Oh, this Ender Isle black dye? Yeah, true. I usually just, if I only need a little bit, I'll grab a, uh, the additions black dye. But this is going less well than I expected. Like this whole field has no black lotuses in it. All right, squids, I have bad news for you. I put my sword away, didn't I? enough right you become two can i make you more than two nope good did you be empty yeah, I guess you should be empty, because if it's 
when we're filled up, the cells sit on the other side as filled cells in the tank. Perfect. All right, so this Now we start the actual processing. Distillery first. Wait, I can reuse this distillery. Because you're basically done. We will void that last millibucket of creosote. And if that upsets anyone, too bad. And I want you to push fluids. Is there a way to make it only push fluids and not items? Yes, there is. Put this here so that it is filled. How do you bookmark with red? I don't actually know. I think if you bookmark uh, an item through like like this, yeah. Like if you bookmark it in the output of a recipe, it bookmarks it with the recipe. Whereas if you bookmark it like that, you, you only bookmark the item. And yes, fair, this is a DIY ender fluid tank. By converting an ender chest into a into a tank with a item or with cells. <clears throat> Alright. What number do I need? I want the light fuel, right? So that is But I want it to also take up the slot so that it cannot it cannot yoink the cells. Push pushes fluids, yeah. Alright, so this distills into light oil. No, light fuel. Basic light fuel. No, it's sulfuric mm -hmm. light fuel. Chem reactor next. I have the list right in front of me anyways. Chem reactor and electrolyzer to reclaim my hydrogen. Iron plates or steel plates, please. Do you want not? But could we have more? No, we cannot. My bad. Uh, any iron? I do have iron. Rod it. Raw iron? Fifteen seconds per okay. Well nothing we can do. But wait, I guess I could also start up both blast furnaces. This LV machine case sock. Oh. Wait, can we not use plates as covers? Oh wow, that's nice. You could use like any plate or any foil could be a cover in NH. And uh, 
Every now and then, you just randomly place a cover on something that you did not want to cover. Does it work for you? Uh, does it work on processing recipes or only... It might only work on... No, it works on processing recipes for me. Both processing and... And, uh... Did I change... I, I changed some settings in here, but I don't know if... I don't think anything has to do with that one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, the the shutter cover, that's something that you, like, you can toggle it, right? But like, if you just want to disconnect two things, you, you have to put, you know, any cover in between. Like, always disconnect two sides. But you could literally use any plate or foil for that. But I'll spend that, like, if you're just walking around, like, you know, I, I just had a plate in my hand. I walk up to a machine and I right click to try to open it. Like, if I click here, it just puts the cover between these two machines. <laughs> and then I have to go grab a crowbar to crowbar it off. Hey, Arisha. It's been a long time since we played anything together, huh? I'm never playing WoW again. Are you still playing WoW? When was the last time I played WoW? Like 2008? Or, or not 8. 18? Something like that? It's... It's been a while. Um, What was I on? Chemical Reactor. A tin rotor. It's... There my toy. There's no way I have time to, to do high-level WoW raiding again. I'd, I'd be your pleb normal mode raider. Alright, so a chemical reactor to sulf to desulfur the oil. And an electrolyzer to reclaim my uh Reclaim my hydrogen. Unluckier with the Koreans, though. End of Mop was about when I started playing. I think Siege of Orgamar was my first actual raid. It was also the only raid that the only raid tier that I did not clear the hardest boss on like whatever the hard you know heroic or mythic. All right, so this turns light or raw oil into. Uh, I guess we'll run our energy here. So I need chemical reactor, fluid output to here. Um, this takes that, and I'll, well, I'll have to prime it with a little bit of hydrogen, but I believe the hydrogen is closed loop. It, actually, I should confirm that. Two hydrogen make one hydrogen sulfide, and one hydrogen sulfide yeah, makes perfect two hydrogen. So I need you, and I need a fluid filter. Lapis plate? What's that? Lots of useless lapis somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I could enjoy playing WoW if I wasn't, like, actually trying to raid at a high level. But if I were to try to raid at a high level, I'd also hate it because, I, I don't know. The, the days of me being willing to smash my head against the boss for 200 attempts have come and gone. I guess I could play Mythic Plus. I mean, but even Mythic Plus now is... There's no reason to just speedrun low keys for fun, right? You do Mythic Plus to, uh... To do high... I mean, I guess high keys are fun. Probably more fun than speedrunning low keys, actually. Wait, that's the wrong filter. No, that's the right filter. Alright, so I want only hydrogen sulfide. Oh, I can't. Cl I have to physically. Okay. Time for a screwdriver. <laughs> uh, guess I won't steal the screwdriver. I will make my own. Yeah, one of the hardest parts of, like, even, I suppose even the rating's not that, I mean, it's challenging, but, like, that's fun challenging. Um, but the whole, like, recruitment, team management, dealing with people with attitudes, that's the worst part. I want to, which, it's on you, right? So I want to filter your drain to whitelist hydrogen sulfide. Fluid auto... Output enabled, and I also want to wait. I also want to allow input via output side. Arisha, you were in, the, you were at least part of the problem on Champion. <laughs> All right, this electrolyzes into an item which I don't care about yet. And a fluid which I want to send back down. Will this cover allow me to send item send fluid through it? I guess I could just do this. Fluid auto output the front and pipe it back down. Yeah, the backflip, I mean, the backflip for this are tiny because it's a void world, right? For, well, for the world that we actually do stuff in. Like, it's the only, the only world that exists is the parts that we've explored. Uh, I think small bronze is sufficient. Don't have any. So, well, that's 800 milliliters a second? Yeah, it's more than enough. I think the size of your backup will be almost entirely determined by how much Lost City exploring you do. And then this will also make sulfur, but I'll deal with the sulfur later. Alright, so this now we have regular light fuel which I want to chemical react with steam or lightly steam cracked. Pin with recipe is neat. I like this. I want to do severely cracked? Okay. Unpin. Severely steam crack light. Um and for the steam, yeah, we'll just fluid heater. Yes. Yeah. We'll just fluid heater. 
I will use other crafting table. Wait, but the machine holes are in this one. No rubber. You know what? Let's make a chemical reactor to make rubber less painfully, real quick. If I had some steel. I mean, for now, because we're only doing it for ethylene, I'll just take whatever makes the most ethylene. It's not like we get to... We don't, we don't even get the other byproducts. We don't even get to see the other byproducts. Now I need to make some rubber for sheets. And I think I used all my rubber. I need it here. I mean, I can't do the full distillation now even if I wanted to, right? Because it's HV. I think eventually you definitely want the full distillation. Like, all those various byproducts are incredibly useful to just have on hand. Right? Like, when you get around to things like Og, being able to just, like, pull Octane out of your naphtha or whatever, it just comes from Slight. Yeah, just be able to pull, you know, you, well, this is the only source of octane, so you have to make your octane from this. And like your toluene, you can pull from it. Uh, this is different. Ethyl terbutyl ether. Oh, I think it's the same recipe, just has a different name in NH. And like the gasoline needs a little bit of toluene, this needs a little bit of... Uh, I think methanol has to come from bio, but refinery gas comes from your DT, one of your DTs. But then what, like, do you set up a distillery for literally every resource that you might want some of? I I love distillation towers. Uh chemical reactor. Alright, this will be for specifically making rubber. Oh, I want actually room on both sides of it. One side will be a fluid solidifier to turn them into bars. The other side will be an assembler to cover wires with. So I will mark these two spots as claimed. And then into this go... Oh, 
sulfur and there's all our raw rubber. It highlighted it. No, well, there's is that all the raw rubber we have left. All right, time to cut down more rubber trees, I guess. But for now, we can get it started. Sulfur. Actually, if I do this, no, it fills both slots. I really love that uh, GTNH's machines. Like chemical reactors would lim would naturally limit. I wonder if I can convince it to do. Oops. Is there a tool I can use to convince it to do that? Maybe a wire cutter. To to not put the same ingredient into multiple input slots. Now that won't convince him to do that. Yeah, I guess we need robot arms. Shame. It was really nice that I think like basically every machine natively behaved that way. And you could configure your input buses to behave that way too. This is it. Oh, that bubbling sound is actually kind of horrific. I hate it. <laughs> It like, I don't know, it feels like there's bubbles in my ear, and I'm not okay with that. <laughs> I need a hammer. Probably not a steel hammer. We do appear to be a little short on steel. Oh yeah, diamond hammer. Fine. Ah, my ears. That's not that it's like a bat, it's just an uncomfortable sound because it, I don't know, like bubbles in my ears. No, thank you. Um, the nice purpose of that was so that we could, I need a solidifier as well. Make our rubber sheets more easily. Oh look, we're out of steel again. Oh look, we can make infinite water! Behold the power of pure water. That was a wild boss. Wait, if I build it this way, I can't easily... Well... I can't easily have it send fluids both sides. Oh no, I can just use a pump for that, what am I saying? And I don't- we don't need to use fluids to cover our wires yet. Oh, I'm curious, if I do this... Do you spit items into the- did I not plug you in? Whoops. Do you spit items into the world? No you don't. Found it really funny in uh, NH again. If you had your output side facing air, and you had auto output on, they would just spit it into the world. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess that's what I asked for. So I guess you're doing what I asked you to do, but it's just kind of funny. 
Uh, where are our chests? Like malicious compliance. All right, I need more raw rubber, so let's go chop some trees. Oh, this is perfect opportunity to show my free abuse strategy. Wait, we can make diamond axe now, right? Because we can make diamond plate. Oh, unless we're out of diamond. Can I make blocks of rubber? Sure, if I wanted to. Uh, we'll mine some diamond real quick. Quick detour. In and out. Two minutes. We need one of... Wait, did I have... Oh, whatever. There's a diamond vein. So I want to mine this way. Positive X. Probably like 25 ish. There's direct. Oh, cool. It still ends up voiding the. Uh, Hoarding the useless cobble. I get bright up oh, because there's some more. That's fine. We have direct. What's this magic? It's one of the uh, modifiers, or one of the upgrades on the dark pick. I should make sure not to break this one though, so I don't have to re-enchant one. Actually, there's still plenty. That's all the diamond vein there is? Yeah, that's graphite. Wait, do we need... Is this a thing? Ooh, graphene looks even less fun to make here. But... Is this a component in IV motors? I hated making IV motors. Oh, they are graphene! Dies of cringe. What do we make graphene here? Ugh, this looks not fun. Hydrazine and argon, or. Wait, graph. What? Okay, this isn't nitration. In fact, we even. Wait. Okay, no, that's not too bad. It's, it, don't we just. Isn't this how you make nitration mixture? 
Oh, fear. Oh, okay. Now you lose like a, the world's tiniest amount of sulfuric acid in the process. Never mind, that's not too bad. We need HSLAs. Oh, it's ZP. Oh, okay. So you have to make it the, the crappy way until you get... Yeah. Although, I mean... Wait, can you do this in a large chemical reactor? I'm getting ahead of myself. Can you not? No, the large chemical reactor just grabs chemical reactor recipes, right? Oh, this is an assembler, not a chemical reactor, though. Never mind. Because you can kind of cheat chemical reactor recipe tier by multiple input busing it. But you can't cheat assembler tier. Oh, I guess when it's full, you don't get directed. Uh, yeah, I guess this is all. This is enough diamond for now. I'll finish the vein later. Large chemical reactors are, in many ways, the perfect machine. Perfect overclock is a dream come true. For now, we just smelt this into one, right? Probably not worth the trouble to... How long does the sifting step take? How much is the yield? The yield at LV is actually just like not good. Oh, we don't have the lower tier ones either. Wonderful. The low I hated all the lower tier, like the flawed and chipped stuff. Cause it just like extra crap you have to process somehow. What just smell you? Yeah, it's not like the chip stuff had any, at least generally speaking, had any use besides clogging your inventory. Am I ever going to automate my furnaces? No, they're my EXP source. I mean, I suppose I could automate putting stuff into the furnace. That is not my EXP source. Nope. 7 plus 1. Not enough. Cutting a diamond. Oh, that cuts so fast. Joy. Um, I want not the Minecraft axe.
Oh, let's grab some dark steel too. Huh? Dark steel ingot. You can burn them as coal. You can burn diamonds as if they were blocks of coal, yeah. You can... Eventually, Kevin was turning them into their super fuel variant. Where is the dark steel? How much do you think it takes to repair a pick? Two? Two seems reasonable. I should... Oh, here. Let's see how many levels it takes. Five? Let's not waste my EXP. Uh, is that full repair? Not quite. Oh well. I've almost yeeted myself off the edge once, but I managed to catch myself. Alright, so this is my strat. Oops. Good thing the first thing I chopped was something that I was okay with chopping. Let's turn that off before it does any damage. As long as you convince the lumber axe that all these trees are part of the same tree, it will happily chop them all. Yeah, when we replant, we can plant in a way that doesn't require me to put too many. Ah, that's most of it. Good enough. It's chopping. <laughs> so it still chops the whole darn forest. <laughs> I mean, I think someone's making a tree farm pretty soon. Chopping the tree completed the uh, the cutting machine quest. Wow. I am the cutting machine? Let's, perhaps, if we want, plant in a grid. I have the best ideas. I want to go in positive X. Although it's conceivable this doesn't make enough saplings. I guess we'll find out. Good enough. Oh, this is, wait, if I use floor... Ah, uh, whatever. This already done. Because I don't want it to be a solid thing, right? I want the space in between. Probably, maybe. Um, anyways, now that I have this wood, we can centrifuge. The resin. I think this produces, yeah, raw rubber. Can we get better yield? 
Now we're going this way to make rubber. It's a lot faster in an extractor, and I don't really need the extra glue. Somebody's making a lot of glass. Okay, uh... We have a steam one. It's a low-pressure steam one, so it's gonna take the better part of forever. This gives guaranteed gallium. Wow. Wait, that's that's yields. And then you can oh this base oh I, we don't get anything from the mace raider step. Yeah, and then once you have spellerite dust, you can electrolyze that for a chance at more gallium. Okay, um, so anyways, once that's done, I can throw there to make more sheets. We can get back to what we're doing here. So this electrolyzes, and we are now, we have, I have to, I have to crack our hydrogen, or our, uh, <laughs> way to teleport onto the floor. I have to crack our fuel. So that's a fluid heater to make this steam. machines. Give me those rubber sheets I worked so hard for. Yeah, we have to break the hydrogen down into its components, into uh, protons and neutrons. I should put this away before I start sealing all the sugar cane. Eighteen screws. Most hydrogen. You are. You are indeed correct. Those not tin screws. What screws were they then? Oh, there was. They're still in my inventory. I'll let him finish his crafting first. Wow. The uh, MV Rock Breaker. Do we have the Rock Breaker recipes to make obsidian? We do. Wait, does not get consumed? Oh, but it's HV. But once we get HV, we get... That's cheating. Now, next question. Can obsidian dust... Well, okay, so obsidian dust still has all its bits in it. That's so cheating! <laughs> infinite, I mean, infinite iron, whatever. Magnesium, whatever. Silicon's nice. And oxygen, but... Eh? The fact that the redstone does not get consumed in the process seems a little, <laughs> a little, uh, unintended, but oh well. It is HV, so, you know, balancing. Oh no, are we out of LV circuits? Yeah, it is a rock breaker making it, but I think it's a, well, at least in NH, it used the, uh, 
it used up the it used up the circuits or not the circuits sorry the redstone yeah it was an old bug where you could piss you could like push redstone or something with the piston at the right time to turn it into obsidian but like that also used up the redstone right Um. Alright, I'll, I'll see if you can make the LV circuit assembler first. There appears to be some struggling going on. And they'll, they'll figure it out. Uh, what do I do in the meantime then? Because I can't make my... Well, I don't want to make more circuits until we have that assembler. I guess I can just go mine. Why do I have two wire cutters in my inventory? Alright, what do what do we need to mine for? Probably copper. I don't know how our copper situation looks. Grab all our smeltables. What are you processing? All the sulfur in the world. Are these be in the process of being moved? Oh, what about gold? I can go mine gold. But we can upgrade these. Wait, we're out of sugar cane? I guess that one piece of sugar cane is at its limit when we are also not collecting all of its output. Can someone make a bigger sugar cane farm? Isn't this a bigger sugar cane farm? Boilers use all the sugar cane? Oh, it voids excess. I see. I should be sending sugarcane first into this. First into the boiler. Although maybe it doesn't even produce excess for the boiler. Oh, it's because most of the sugarcanes aren't even being broken. Like, literally, it just needs redstone, right? No, there's snad, but that, that farm there was just a snad-powered sugarcane farm. What are you 
you sitting in here? We'll never find you in there. Not void as much. Oh, whatever. And, oops. I need it. Oh, you already did it. I needs it. I mean, like, our TPS right now is, you know, infinite, so I can handle a little extra. All right. There's a... At MV, we got the, uh... We got the, actually, Edition's Auto Breaker. Once we get the uh, molecular transformer, this thing breaks it natively into its inventory. So. Yeah, so I mean, that is better. Indeed. Um, right, I'm cynical mining. I guess I just sat going both flux or both capacitors. And what was I mining for? <laughs> We determined that we needed not copper, but but gold. Thank you. Now I bought gold to upgrade these furnaces. Uh, oh Lord. that gold any gold around down here okay so it's one two three and some chunk south and one west one two three And one west. Looks like down here ish. Oh wow, there's so much. I'm surrounded by. Well, I mean, there's not a lot of it per chunk, but. Okay, so I actually. I'm too, I want to go. I can't actually tell where the edges of these veins are. What else is in the gold? Uh, magnetite. There we go. That's much cleaner. <laughs> There's so much ore. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just go back to the chunk edge and dig straight a little past the chunk edge. No, we'll just start here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now copyright. That's not in a vein that has gold. Magnetite, there we go. And we wanted to go west, like... I don't even know how far we want to go west. Let's just call it, like, 35. Well, but the rest of it's a different vein. So, the, the other vein could... Could, uh... Pull its direction? Negative X. Could be at a different Y level. And I think the first piece I encountered was at this level, right? Yeah, it's at the... Well, no, there's more there. No, that's... Different part. I mean, I guess I'm not against mining. Copper bearing ores. Yeah, looks like someone's been here. Uh, we can turn that off and. Oh, 
Look, that's it. It's still magnetized. All right. Uh, there's still magnetite in that wall. You know, I should make a bigger backpack. Satchel. Oh, I wonder if I can enchant my satchel with holding. Stack a chest, yeah. I mean, stack a chest is a lot. Oh, it's not even that much assembler time. All right, we'll do that next time we head back. That's gold, so I want to go at least one block further. Do you all be OC? I don't think so. ULV recipes just use a very small percentage of an amp. I do I'm having a good time today. No unreasonable issues have cropped up. Oh, does a hammer work? I think it works as you would expect. Well, if I do it, I think it just breaks. I mean I guess I can test it on something that has less blocks. It 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 does slowly. But yeah, it, it does the whole hammer job, but it does it slowly. Also, it doesn't direct into my inventory. Oh, I guess... This part has been mined by the miner already. I think those are the two extents. Upgrade is probably doable. Oh, my inventory's full. Oops. A little annoying that when you fill your inventory, it doesn't drag everything to your feet. And it forces you to clean up your own mess. Probably also upgrade our magnets and stuff soon too. Uh, okay, what do I get rid of? Don't need that nine redstone. Oh, that was it. Nope, that wasn't it. One more stack. All right, good enough. Pulling them out of my inventory automatically with the player, but that does seem a little ways off. Yeah, we only needed a power for that. Alright. 
you will process any that this that Materials and power at bad. I remember power was giga late. Yeah, it's tungsten carbide, so that's ivy. And vanadium magnetite, we don't need a process yet. Not the chemical reactor. Oh, do we get? No, not in here. Do we get two dusts for this yet? We do. Okay, a tungsten plus a steel is two tungsten steel. I remember when a tungsten plus a steel was one tungsten steel, and I wasn't having any of it. Oh, let's upgrade our app first. Uh, need wood for this. Can I do it with the uh, this wood? Probably. Actually, I can I can cut this wood, can't I? Cutting saw makes six at ten seconds each. Never mind. I'm willing to just chop more trees. Uh, assembler. Will GTNH continue? No, it will not. GTNH ended up being too frustrating an experience. Alright, well that'll take it a little while to make those, so I can make the enchant. Um, well, I think we just go back to mining. Can I upgrade you to... I can join to a lot, to uh... I don't know. Wow, my first MV. What else do I need? Pin that. That doesn't help me figure out what... Okay. Gold. Do so. Running fast is good. I love running fast. We don't have, because we don't have industrial craft, right? So we don't get like the the cool industrial craft gear. That's a shame. The industrial craft armors. I can upgrade this with fused quartz too. Well, we don't really need to upgrade those. I do actually need to upgrade you. You keep your items, right? Can I upgrade you again? Good nail them. Nope, not even close. Uh, all that for one row of items. I hope it was worth it. My 
chest done though. Not even close, huh? Oh, and I got cut in. Oh, because I guess they do have to start using the assembler to, uh, to cover copper cables, don't they? Copper cables can't be done by hand. Unlucky. I need a stack of chests to put anything on this. Alright, then. Wait, there are nano? Right, copyright safe names. Blue steel or oh we can do it in black. We can do it in water. I mean, what uh, what part of this is HV? I got some the autoclave step is HV. We can make fibers as low as polyethylene, although doing it in polyethylene is kind of cool. Okay. Oh wait, we can just straight up make the Gret Tech Night Vision goggle, can't we? That's like super easy. Once I get some sodium. Oh yeah, this is such an easy night vision goggle recipe. Alright, we'll make that soon. Uh, did I turn this off? I have it set out. Is it 35? 35 seems about right. No set. Yeah, there, there were like multiple HV circuits to make them in NH. Convenient hole in the ground. I don't remember exactly what went into it, but I remember it was not fun making your first pair of night vision goggles. This is just a dark pick, but yeah, it is energy powered. I'm abusing uh, the effortless building's ability to, like, array mine to, uh, well, to array mine to do exactly what it says it does. So instead of mining one block at a time, I can mine up to 50. Are flux spores a thing? Probably. They're available as of uh, stainless. Yeah. Thanks for putting that chasm there, whoever put it there. Jeez, world gen. Could you be a little bit more considerate? I don't think I left it. I think I've also finished the vein I started up. I think I'm just mining some other vein now, which is, I guess, all right. Yeah, it's not like anything I'm mining here will go to waste. We'll go until I fill this inventory again. What even is the red stuff? That's just copper. I could make more set. Once we get the uh, holding enchant, it gets a lot bigger. 
I think holding enchant adds like two lines per level. Maybe only one line per level, one row. But whatever it is, it's it's quite a bit. That's basically their cutaway. And we're full. Okay, good enough. We're starting to leave stuff behind. Yep, hard mode is locked to peaceful. You have to play it on peaceful. I mean, it's intended to be played on peaceful, I suppose. The pack configs ship on peaceful. I think you can, like, you can tweak some settings to change it off, but. There is no DML in hard mode. That's part of its challenge. Uh, future origin for the longest time come will come from miners. Not mining, but miner. I mean, we can mine ourselves as well, but... It'll be easier to, to disrupt miners. And eventually we get micro miners. Which, once we get to the micro miner stage, I think its resource collection is pretty similar to uh, the base Omni, Nami, except that you never get um, you never get DML. Okay. You never get deep map learning. Uh, what are you doing? Where did the other two furnaces? I thought the other went away because. That they were moving them. I think someone yoinked it to craft with. Move them to main store. Oh, they're just closer. I see. Yeah, I was waiting for gold to upgrade them. You can you can move all the furnaces if you want. But our gold's not getting crushed. This one's a floor hammer, right? You know, I don't think I have to worry about very low amount. Although we should probably move those somewhere that we can easily get sugarcane into them. Like, near the sugarcane pipe. This sugarcane pipe does has like no throughput in it. You want to you want to attach to this sugarcane pipe. You also want to be lower priority than this input bus, so you just want to be further away. Um, have, has a circuit assembler? Are we circuit assembly? We are hog. Uh, I guess I'll start on a stack of LV circuits then. Oh, this I pinned with that recipe, but now we can pin it with this recipe. Wow. 
All right, so it's still resistors. We can use tin, right? Yeah. Red alloy wire, vacuum tube, circuit board. Mm, okay. Let's start with the boards. So I have them pinned from last time. They're copper foils. If we have antimony, I don't know where it is, and we have literally all the tin in the world. Okay, not literally all the tin in the world, but we have plenty of it. I need to turn a bunch of you into foils. Oh, someone's ahead of me. Wait, is someone already making? Or, uh... It's probably worth baking more. Well, I mean, we'll need more than a stack or two. Oh, if we're making two stacks, we're going to end up just bottlenecking each other on on the assembler if we both do it, so. Aha, I got out of doing the job. Mission successful. Uh. Well, then back to what I was doing here. Wait, I need circuits to do this. I'm still bottlenecked. Unlucky. Four hundred. I mean, may maybe we even get half an hour out of four hundred. Not half bad. Um, I was in the process of making the fluid heater. Let's see if I've come closer or further from doing so now. Where is my output chest of? Wait, my mold got stolen. I suppose I stole that mold in the first place. One of these had molds in it. Length molds. You do, okay. You can use either table. Okay. Wait. Mold. No one will counter steal my mold. Turn this wrought iron into steel. I mean, 15 seconds per is pretty fast. Although, I guess it's still... Maybe I should go... Ooh, I should turn this off before I do damage. Maybe I could go buy more coal so we can get the... Coke ovens running a bit more. Eh. This plate vendor queue is literally forever. Oh wait, I don't have to make my plates in there. We can ignore the plate cutter queue. Prepare the pick. Yeah, I'll do that at some point. Uh, let's make a jetpack while we wait.
I need at least some fuel for that. Unless the recipes have been changed for hardball, the jetpack recipes are actually not all that bad. Uh, I want the... Th wait, do I want the Thermal series or do I want the Ender I.O. series? I probably want the Ender I.O. series. Because the Thermal series gets... I mean, this is only Electrum. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter then. All right, wh which jetpack are you using? The thermal one or the uh, or the Ender IO one? I, I make the other one. No, no, no I know, but the therm uh, simply jetpacks has like you can make it out of the thermal materials or the Ender IO materials. Like, did you have the leadstone hardened reinforced ones, or did you have the... Okay, I will try the... Oh, but these take capacity. Oh, no, these capacitors aren't that bad. Electrical steel, yeah. Does this require double layer caps, though? That's, that's doable. All right, we'll do the... We'll do this one. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. This requires a uh, resin. Wait, does it not require a resonator? Maybe it doesn't. Okay, I can do that. I can find my ender pearls. Aha, I found one. Uh, blocks of redstone. I know you are here somewhere. And the terminal, what does the terminal do that I need it for right now? Oh, the only feature of the terminal I know about is a world prospector that lets you, it's based like, that's like the old scanner. I don't know if I need more than one of these. Oh, someone beat me to it. Oh, I need one per... Conductive iron plates. Alright, we'll check out the... Once I make a... What? We don't have any conductive iron. Once I have a jetpack, I'll go check out what the terminal does. Active iron? Tiny bit. I need what, eight? I guess if I get nine, I can cut it. What do you eat seconds? Alright, that's not too bad. Let's go grab a terminal. I don't even know where mine went. Right, pull out our tablet. So I, I've, I've looked at like the guides and stuff. Tutorials, guide editor, system settings, multi-block helper, battery manager, hardware manager. So I assume I have to go into the app store. Pong. 
Well, that's the button takes it. There we go. My terminal can't play Pong? What is this? Terminal sucks. You need a UV field generator and a ZPM battery to teleporter, huh? Definitely want Minesweeper. All right, let's go get a battery, I guess. That we can make them. We, we're, we're back on the... Back on the jetpack grind. Oh, did I not make enough? What? We don't have electrical steel? Alright, I'm done. done making jetpacks. Jetpack sucks. Go away. Um, how do I end up with these tools in my inventory? I don't have any silicon. Oh, we do have silicon? It's okay. I already gave up on the jetpack. What is this? Lead and antimony. Ah, uh, that might be difficult on account of not having antimony. Do we have any ingots? Do we have any stimnite in any form? All right, so I guess we have to get it. Tetrahedrite veins, overworld or nether. But they only spawn... Wait, this is the Y level. Oh no, that's up of the nether. Oh, that's in the overworld too. Alright, I think we'll have an easier time finding it in the nether. But if I'm going to the nether, I want a jetpack. Okay, fine. We're back on the jetpack grind. Thirteen whole silicon? Some electrical steel. Not 13's enough. Oh, look, there's electrical steel. can make ender pearls out of like diamonds right yeah isn't there another way to turn you can i thought you could turn these into class rates oh you have to get resin wait I guess this is irrelevant unless you're trying to accept in the DML loop. Mind. And the DML loop is irrelevant because there's no DML.
Uh-oh. Distinct lack of energy. Bing. Two LV assemblies. Living the life of luxury here. Farming station. Oh, you can uh, use some of the world capacity, like the capacitors we found in the world, or the farming station. Uh, this, I guess, is will have to suffice for a quick nether journey. As I brown out all of our machines by drawing four ant. Well, this probably only draws two ants. Right, because it can only put two amps into each battery slot. Wee. Wee. Okay. Another. We are looking for Stibdite. Uh, these all kind of suck. All right, let's go south west. That's southeast. This is southwest. Stibdite. All right, this is enough, I guess. Um, if we go south to the chunk border, we are basically touching a vein. Now the question is, is it up or is it down? It is very likely up, right? Because the range is... It was like 80 through 120. And we are on 86. I guess we'll... Oh, I should repair my pick first. Oh wait, another copper ore. That's what's in the vein, right? Tetrahedrite, copper. Spawns in the middle three layers. Wait. Well, the vein's just right here. Huh? Which way does it... The vein from here runs south, right? I guess if I pick copper, maybe we see a bit more. Yeah, it's south from here. Alright, let's just... Let's just go repair a pick and then mine it. Probably enough to full repair. Uh, sure. Level's low enough, I don't care. Alright, and about how, how far south do I have to mine? Two full chunks and maybe a bit over. Let's go 35. In positive Z. The pick is already empowered. It's already empowered. Although, can we go empowered? Three? We can maybe even go four. We can definitely go three. Maybe we can make this. Super easy. Yeah, what we can make okay, uh I should put that on a to-do list. 
I just look through here. Am I actually hitting anything? I am. Ooh, my stomach just scrambled. I'm not sure if anyone heard that. Okay, yeah, there's ore here. It's just very camoed. There's still ore there. Does EU auto convert to RF? I thought so. I thought it did. I have to be on my hot bar to work. Cables do. Okay, so as long as you connect to a to a to a Greg Tech cable. Yeah, it's one way. The automatic conversion is only one way. Going RF to EU requires a converter. There's really still ore. And yeah, I'm hitting lava down there, but who cares? That lava's down there. I'm over here. The ores in this wall. That's as far as the ores go. It's so hard to tell what's like what type of what ore is what type of ore. Is the edge of the vein? No, there's tetrahedrite here. I can't actually see. Alright, we have to go at least this far. Oh, you know that every time I mine down a layer, that lava is going to flow closer to me, huh? Because it's going to flow out seven blocks, and then the next time it goes down, it can flow out another seven blocks. Maybe I have to go kill the source. Although I don't really have anything to kill the source with. Uh. Oh well. This hole will protect me. This type of mining is giga unfair. And to think, if tools weren't of unreasonably low durability, we might not have mined like that. Effortless building, effortless mining, you mean? I've hardly built anything with effortless building. I think that's the entire vein now. Alright, I call that a success. I mean, it's kind of like when we're using building gadgets to mine. They weren't building gadgets, they were mining gadgets. Alright, uh... Oh. 
The thing has a cue to the moon. Alright, well the basic stuff we will in queue. You know, if you mind it, doesn't mean we have to process it. These ores of ones I will set aside so I can fit more in the queue. <laughs> this queue could literally not be bigger. I will then encroach on the queue to force it to do my work. I guess we should leave Celery. We can put a queue for the queue. Wow. Queue stacking. Any British people among among us? I hear you guys love queuing. This crate is also not going to hold it all. Uh have you started? Come on, finish, please. That should be, yeah, all stupid. Wait, how much do I get? I was expecting 16. 32. Oh, because it's, it's another ore. Oh. Um, okay, we're gonna wash this sulfur, I guess. Let's do a little washing. I don't think I successfully picked up water there. Imagine washing these one by one. I'd rather not. I can fish control shift key. It'll only wash three stacks. But I guess I could probably do that and then like and then replace the water bottle or the water bucket. Before it, uh, <clears throat> before it empties. Like, before I pick it up again, rather. Uh, you done? Oh, both type. This I can just smell, right? Can you smelt it while it's in its impure form? You can. Oh, you can automate the filling of cauldrons? Oh, well then. Whatever. We'll, we'll get an ore washer soon enough. Uh, where are smelters? Smelters distinctly have a lack of fuel. Eh. <laughs> Fix it later. Control Shift Q doesn't even throw more than one. You put the filter either as a cover or in the slot of a conveyor, like the filter slot of a conveyor. <clears throat> Wait, did I not wash? Where'd my stim night go? Oh, I didn't pick it up. Now 
this, I have to spelt to turn it into antimony, I believe. Oh wait, I probably didn't even have to wash it, huh? Because I was just turning it into antimony. The yeah, control shift Q throws all in those packs I played. I think. And all right, now I'm making battery, which is what, four to one? Oh, how's the gold doing in the pressure? Suppose since we didn't prioritize it, it's probably. I don't know. Mansion. Get a significant amount of it. Upgrade these soon. All right, that's whoopsies. Enough for now. Or the one with lead, was it? Nickel. Let go. Hey, Huck. Almost Angry Birds time, indeed. Turn these into plates. Things you do for a couple batteries. 76 seconds! Alright. 76 seconds until... Uh, I guess I need some lithium, too. What has some lithium in it? Electrolysis of... Oh, how about... Oh. Wait. That's sodium. <laughs> lithium chloride. While it is a salt is not typically referred to as salt. Clay requires an MV electrolyzer though. I need something that can be done in a LV electrolyzer. Wait, there's nothing that can... What about a LV centrifuge? Wait. Uh, I guess it doesn't have to be a lithium battery, huh? I can, I can make do with sodium. Right, it just has to be a DLV battery. Look on that side. I thought that was salt. It had some salt. Where did our salt go? lithium and well I already got my two sodium I don't I think I almost go out of my way to not mine that stuff if you're gonna make rotors you can't you have to put you can't just put a full stack of ingots in because then you're gonna be leftovers but before that was fine because it was leftover ingots but now it's leftover fluids
What's this? A DDM battery. We can just cram it in by hand, right? So how do I install the battery? Not like that. Battery manager. I'm so my bad. That's not apparently not how you install the battery. Hard hardware manager. I don't know what goes in those slots, but okay. Do I have to charge it now? I'm hoping that time on the battery is not how long I get to use it before I have to recharge it. Well, I don't, I don't need a prospector. I'm playing Pong. All right, that's charged enough. Wait, how do I? Oh, arrows. I'm losing already. No! Whoa, 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 whoa! That cheated. That was not me. Check the VOD. Score! Score! Alright, once we're winning, we can call it. The corners are kind of sketch. Okay, we're winning. Good game. What is that? Minesweeper next. Oh my god, we don't have middle click. This is going to be the world's most painful game of Minesweeper. I don't know how to Minesweeper without middle click. I keep trying, or not middle click, but a double, double mouse click, like reveal all neighbors. Five. For those of you who don't know how Minesweeper works, the numbers tell you how many mines are adjacent to each number. And your goal is to put flags on all of them. One of these two is, well, this one isn't. Okay. Right. That. Yeah. One of these two is, so this one isn't, well, that one. Your goal is to not explode. If you left click on a mine, you explode. If you right click, you mark as mine. But you're you're also trying to mark all the not mines. Wait a second, something's not right here. Three. Okay, it's not this one. There we go. Is this one not any of these? Uh oh, am I? This might be a forced guess. 
Oh shoot, the battery is starting out. No! Help! Is this a forced guess? I think. <laughs> my, my mind sweeper game! <laughs> Usually if you, at least in my experience, if you miss flag a mine, like three seconds later you blow up. Because you assume that one was a mine, which caused the wrong assumption later. No, I, I was at a forced guess. So, I, I think there was a 50-50 guess available, but I was at a forced 50-50. But we'll see if the game, if the app saved. So apparently the quality of the battery in your, in your Minesweeper terminal does matter. Right. No, we lost our game. Alright, we start over. We have, we're, we're gonna do this until I beat a Minesweeper game. This is now Minesweeper's stream. Nope. <laughs> Not like that. That's okay, if you miss flag one, you tend to blow up almost immediately after. This whole left clicking thing? Scary. I like almost never left click when playing Minesweeper normally. Definitely not that one. I think this is a hard game to play and talk. I'm discovering. It takes all of my mental facilities. Not blow. Alright, Minesweeper's over. This is no longer a Minesweeper stream. Uh, are there useful apps now? So there's the Prospectors? But they require... Oh, I can't even install the app without the sensor? A tool to help you free your inventory. What? Wait, so I need a wire- what is a wireless transmitter? MV, oh. But it turned this thing into a tool? That's kinda sick. Wait, so the world prospect is what I already have, right? Cape selector. Of course. I don't have a wireless transmitter. Alright, let's pick a cape. What what did I need this tablet for? By the way? I think we hold. What's that? Oh, I guess I get the red cape. Wow. Game changing. Alright, now I have a tablet. I suppose it gets more useful later. It is presently not very useful. What the J guys I will oh. the This one the recipe chart? A tool for Anazines where you can build a recipe graph and just like JEC. Well it's just like the calculator. 
Well, I need paper. I need to put paper in my tablet. Yoink. And I don't have RAM. Can't put more RAM in my tablet. They do it. I mean, this is it's basically just the just enough calculation. Focus, then plus. Wait, do I have to? Oh, how do I tell it what recipe to use? Oh. I think I bricked it. Please select the node. Well, I would love to select the node. Right click to add, I can't right click anything. I drag it in. No. Ah. I'm not this newfangled stuff. Add root slot. Okay, but how do I tell it which specifically want oh I see. What do I tell it to use like a different circuit? Wait. This is too much work, I don't care. Uh What was I making? I was waiting for circuits, but circuits are done, right? So we can go back to actually like progressing again. Although it was fun playing with our new shiny toys. Yeah, I can make this. Maybe. bronze plate. That should be doable. We have tons of bronze. How do we generate power? Right now it's mostly off of steam, although we are migrating to benzene. I guess I could hook these up to Item pipes. How far does our item pipe go? All the wiring cleanly hidden away. Bet you didn't think I would do that. Uh, what did I need? It was one of the plates. Bronze plates.
a single item conduit. Well, only because I'm not allowed to make item conduits yet. Wait, there's a way I could make this jetpack set up, right? Toggle hover mode is live. Emergency hover should almost always be off and engine is. Emergency hover. So if I do this. And I think it was this. I don't know if that's a feature or a bug, but it causes your jetpack to shut up. Which I consider an absolute win. If you mute and un like if you drag your master volume to zero while your jetpack is firing and then bring it back up, it mutes until you restart your game. Or maybe until you relog, I don't know. But only your own. It doesn't you, you still hear other people's, I guess. But at least your own shuts up. I had to jump off the edge to get the jetpack to fire long enough to do it, but... Alright, so the fluid heater and a chemical reactor. I need... After much... Distraction. <clears throat> Alright, the chemical reactor, so this chemical reactor is producing, uh, so the no, regular light fuel, so this one has to crack it. This one cracks it, this boils the water, and I need a reservoir to make the water. Wait, is it an endervore? Yeah, it is. Wait, it's 18 fused quartz? Damn. Right, because an omnivore is just... Is there the... these water sources? Okay, this will do. These are much easier. Double steels. These are limited because their throughput absolutely sucks, but I don't need a lot of throughput right now. At least, definitely not on the order of... Yeah, but I, I need water, like, at a specific location. I don't want to pipe water all the way through the base to use one millibucket a take of it. For the large machines, like the whatever large material press, it's the idea that you make one for each type. Yeah, and then you can use them both for on demand and for manual processing. I don't know if they have EU discount in this version. Like I know the Greg Tech Plus Plus ones do. Probably not. You can also set them into um, having distinct input buses mode. So like for the uh, I don't know what's something that has. Like the laser butter. I don't know if there's a... Well, okay, like for the extruder. Um, you know how all the extruder recipes have like all the different shapes? Well, you can set the large extruder into distinct input buses mode so that the one machine can process all the different patterns, all the different shapes. And like, there's some limits to how many input buses you can put on the thing, but um, because of that, you can, you know, using 
like up to I don't know how big you can fit on maybe eight. So like each machine can handle eight different uh, extruder shapes. In fact, I can check right here. So it uses fifty seven, a minimum of forty, and there's already one allocated. So you can fit an extra seventeen. So you can fit eighteen input buses onto one of these. Pretty cool. And yeah, C CEU machines have noises. And they're mostly not even too obnoxious. They're only slightly obnoxious. This auto outputs, right? Sick. Alright, so this makes steam. You can auto output your steam down. You crack. After cracking, the next step is a distillery step again. What? No copper rods. No. Delayed some copper. Found some copper rods. Do I have a hammer? Hammer them. Bang into them. And distill. Uh oh, let's steal again. The forever problem. All right, and this machine, once we configure everything, will output. Ethylene at 250 millibuckets of it. Um, but what I want right now is let's get a tank so that we can split it into two processes from here into polyethylene and PVC. I have a great type tank somewhere, right? It's a machine case. I like these because you can put covers on them. Uh, let's do the polyethylene one first, even though it's it's a less useful but also easier one. So all I have to do is yoink some oxygen, which we have producing in the basement, and take ethylene and polymerize it, right? Which is a chemical. Is it MV? It might be MV. Polyethylene. No, oh, it's LV. I just need a chemical reaction. Of course, that requires more steel. Always requires more steel. Good. I was hoping someone moved some steel and that we didn't have a piece of steel left to our name. Might be a good idea to smelt more iron though. How's the iron situation looking? That's not iron, but we'll smelt it anyways. That is iron. One of the furnaces got upgraded. Uh, all right. 
I'll grab those lights before someone else does. Fine. Fine. No, we're out of tin rotors. No way. Dad. Uh, tin. Whatever is soldering iron this is, I'm removing it. Shot a book into my machine. All right, so this will make polyethylene. We'll also need a fluid solidifier to turn it into plates. And we want to keep some polyethylene in fluid form. So we probably want another. Oh, we can make these drums, right? These just hold a lot. Although pressure plates suck. Right. I'll just make like a steel drum. No, we don't have any steel. We don't have nearly enough steel. I guess we'll just use the Ender IO tank for now. Wait, we can make the good Ender IO tank. That's basically. That's basically a drum. Wood pipes, tiny bronze. Good enough. Uh, rotors. Any rotors? Three. Chemical reactor. Fluid solidifier. Do I need to make new pumps? I hate pumps. I hate tin cable. Why are there so many steps involved in doing anything in this pack? Or in anything, in everything Greg Tech? Someone literally beat me to just taking these. Unlucky. Greg is an adverb. What kind of bug is that? Every time he teleports to another dimension, his jetpack disappears. Well, kind of unlucky. Oh, I probably didn't need to make quite that many rings. Oh, well. Wait, does that does that mean you also lose your jetpack every time? <laughs> jetpack sucks. Can we make Angel Ring? I remember Angel Ring was pretty early. Yeah, it's kind of not that early. I mean, like technically, there's nothing that stops us from making it, but it's a hell of a lot of steps. <laughs> Hmm. 
Ooh, more curse lord problems. I've honestly like I haven't heard a single good thing about Curseforge since the whole Overwolf takeover thing. Oh, it's a crafting table we make this aren't gonna be difficult. Oh. Well I mean this we can do, right? You, you we're gonna have to make luminescence. We have to make phosphoric at <laughs> I mean, there's nothing here we don't have the tech level to make. Whether you wish to do so is perhaps a separate question. <laughs> it is more than a couple of steps. Um... Moon solidifier. Some you want a machine casing? In hall. I like how on the machine hall they kept the rainbow imagination. And I need a plate bowl. Right, so this makes polyethylene. Polyethylene will sit in a drum. Or no, this makes ethylene. So that we can fork its processes. Process one polymerizes it into polyethylene. I need a pump to pump there. Uh, fluid auto out. Or is it the poly? Actually, I can just replace this drum with another one of the tanks, right? So that I can auto output. We'll do that. And then some will sit in the tank for. Is use? Oh wait, no, I want to split here. I guess if I'm going to split, I can, I can use this from here and this thing here. There we go. Some will sit in there so that we can use it in other crafting. And some will come into the fluid solidifier, which turns them into polyethylene sheets. All right, so you auto output and then you auto output as well. All right, uh, I'm gonna mi I'm missing so many circuits and stuff in here. I have to get I have to get our oxygen pipe to here, which is small bronze fluid pipes. Maintenance in in this version should not increase energy drain. Is my understanding. I haven't I haven't had a maintenance issue yet to confirm, but my understanding is that maintenance does not increase energy drain. Uh, let's run it. The backbone just right here under the. Um, but yeah, maintenance only increases recipe time. So, I, I don't know why multi-blocks accept three. I, I don't know what three does that two doesn't do. I guess for, like, processing arrays, it lets, I mean, just lets them process more in parallel. Or for any of the parallel-capable machines. I suppose it matters. 
Oops, I think I broke the hammer. No sticks. Oh, make a new hammer later. Oh, the immense contrast between the blue and the black here hurts my eyes more than a little bit. Well, that gets ox. I should confirm that it's actually getting oxygen into that machine. Yep, you have oxygen. Is Ben's ready yet? Oh, how do you upgrade your dark pick? Uh, you need an item that has mini anvil, and then you can put these like little upgrade cards in them. I have a spare mini anvil if you need it. You got it to work, but do, do you need any spare upgrades? I have a spare empowered and empowered too. Did I already have empowered two on? You are golden. Maybe then for now I can yoink energy from... How can I get energy here easily? I can just burn... The light fuel? If I bootstrap this, I can burn the light fuel or the yeah, the light fuel before cracking it. So this is a chemical reactor I'd want to steal it from. This chemical reactor has a distinct lack of sides available. Because if I want to use the backside for power, I guess I have to steal from the bottom. And for now, I will have you auto output down. Oh, oh! I guess that's hover mode, probably. Okay. Jetpack plus Ender Hook does not do what I think it does. All right. How will I bootstrap this? I will bootstrap this by throwing batteries into machines. Make some hulls, get some sodium. What happened to our salt? thought the day would come that I'm electrolyzing salt for sodium and not for chlorine. Not that the chlorine will go to waste. Wait, there's a... Oh, that's silicon. Uh, 
and then back to these. Alright, we're gonna give that a second to charge. I need to use the restroom, so I will be back in. Alright, I'm back. We have that. Oh, I should have charged my tablet. Well, too late now. I'm losing batteries briefly to kickstart this process. Alright, so that makes. Well, fear of oh, I need some hydrogen to kickstart this too. How similar is this pack to Omni? It's. Uh, it's based on, uh, like it's based. Well, the so Nami Factory itself is just a successor to Omni. Like it's Omni with continued development. Um, the CEU version is forked from Nami Factory, and then Hard Mode is forked from Nami Factory STE. So it's I don't know what you call it the 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 next generation of. Omni Factory, I suppose. Uh, what am I here to do? Oh, right. I'm here to get a little bit of hydrogen to kickstart that. What can I electrolyze to get some hydrogen? I really don't want to electrolyze water. And someone else died to the stupid wires. I don't want to electrolyze a gas. I want to electrolyze an item. Fuller's Earth. Nope, that's MV. Salt water. All right, I guess we're electrolyzing water of some description. And it's going to have to be okay. Is this going? That one. Uh, 75 seconds of electrolysis. Alright, well, whatever. The one time thing. 
that battery is basically drained. Also, the time remaining is time remaining while, while running at 32 EU a tick. Like, wait, is it? Or is the time remaining running at current discharge rate? I mean, I guess the current discharge rate is 75% of 32. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Yeah, it's definitely going down slower than one a second. Let's see, all right. Anyways, this light fuel. Oh, uh, I do need something to actually burn the fuel in. I need a combustion. Oh, but if I make combustion generate, I guess I can leave this thing self-powered. Oh boy. It's copper wire. Uh, huh? Like the file product. Well, the, yeah, it's based on the current usage rate. But the thing about current usage is that it's, you know, subject to change, shall we say. Uh, where are my extra cells? Oh, no, sorry, yeah, the number shown is not based on current usage. The number shown is based on full, but unless you're drawing a full amp in the machine, it'll be wrong. Um, I need to put some power in you first, and I need to put hydrogen in you. Wait, don't you? It needs to run 12 buckets before it even does a single operation. I'm gonna go through multiple full battery charge. What is this? I guess it keeps trying to give an amp to the machine. Like an energy packet, and the machine's like, nah, I'm good, I don't want it. And it puts it back in the battery. Then we'll go through multiple full charges of batteries just to fill the buffer one. Or to get it to do one operation, it charge that. Uh, probably can't get it to also charge my capacitor. I think that makes our base stop functioning. How am I going to make a combustion generator with? 22 wires. I have a feeling this is not enough. Yep, I swear I saw like a whole stack of small steel gears. We'll steal there. This is busy making not steel. You wrought iron though? No raw iron. Good.
There's only a little bit of cold coke left. You're about to run. Soon we can make our first 12 buckets of light fuel. Wow, 12 buckets of light fuel. Wait, why isn't it taking more energy from the battery, actually? Does it only charge itself to half off batteries? Uh, now I need a generator. <laughs> what was I waiting on to make that generator? Steel. Unless we have steel somewhere that I missed. Well, there's at least some steel in these. Two. 29, okay, 29 is good. Replacing all the modular machine multi blocks with like na native Greg type stuff, I think, was, was actually very good. The modular machinery stuff, like, only barely worked. It was not an optimal solution. Wait. I'm going to make a combustion generator. What am I missing to make this? Okay, so... Oh. Well, the little steel there was just disappeared. So a hull? I probably need more than one of these two, right? Let's try to make two combustion generators. hulls four motors well two motors as motors two motors as pistons requires small gears which i assume we still don't have the mv extruder oh, well. i'll always smelt them Whoever made a tin rotor again with a full stack of a uh, tin, I hate you. Need a tin ingot. And <clears throat> there's still enough tin in there for a rotor. Wait, why do we have two small gear bolts? I guess one's for the alloy smelter.
but there's a small gear mold in here. Whatever, don't question it, Jimmy. And I need. Oh, this is only enough to make one, because it takes two pistons. Jeez, combustion generators suck. No more steel. Need more steel. Are you making steel? 25 seconds? I think that's not the time for steel. You either of those have made steel, we are so steel blocked. I just saw that piece of steel vanish. Uh Alright, well I guess I can smell iron in the meantime. Things have We do it this week, Arc Furnaces. What happened to the armor icons? I don't know, man. They... They... Yeah. Uh, yeah, happened to them. I think it actually is doing the iron ingots, but I don't want it to do... Iron. I wanted to blast for this rock iron. I mean, a hundred. Wait, if it only uses a hundred a tick, oh, because that's base use, and then you pay per block. If memory serves me right. Do you get from the bottom to the top of this base without a teleport staff? Whoa! Whoa! What blew up? Where's my magnet? Magneting. Where's my magnet? Wait, it's not my. That was my magnet. That was just. Wait, but what blew up? The boiler blew up? Oh, there's not a boiler here anymore, huh? It must have run out of water? Well, there's water in here. Oh, you mean the second boiler? If you turned on the second a second boiler, then yeah, it would have blown up, right? Because there's no water in the second one. Because the water pipe didn't connect to the second one. They're distracted with that. I can get the steel that comes out.
Although normally it blows up when water enters after heating up. Uh, I think, so it, in this version of Greg Tech, as soon as you form the multi-block, it starts on. As soon as the multi-block forms. Warning, machine needs more energy. Well, that's because it's getting no steam, because it's... Uh, I'll let them fix that. Their problem, not mine. I need steel gear. Did our coke ovens get moved to over here? Well, now there's only one coke oven. I think it's accurate to say GTNH is Nami but drawn out by four times. More. No, there's a lot of differences. Like it's not just that it's longer. UTNH has a lot of more complicated processing, but it also has a lot of more annoying, like, baseline mechanics. Like, the way the machines work. The way the multi-blocks work, it's maintenance mechanic. I need a big cube. It certainly takes probably more than four times as long to accomplish things on average. Plus input. inside supposed to be like. Eh. Doesn't look wrong to me. This, oops. This is what I'm going to tell you. Okay, a minimum one output hatch, minimum one input hatch, minimum one input bus. Wait, is there a muffler hatch? Does it need a muffler hatch? The multi block preview says it needs a muffler hatch. Well, then I think you need a muffler hatch, and that's why it's not forming. My gear is done. Oh wait, did both of your... Did both of the two share? Yeah, because they're sharing an input bus. As soon as the multi-block completes, it forms. And there's items in the input bus, which causes it to boom. Alright, so I got my gears. Did I make the generator? No. 
make a combustion generator, please. And you have any? At least some. Where are wires? How many amps do you think we need to run this chain? Think we can do it on four? I guess we'll start on four. Wire clippers. Ink. 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 All right. Hopefully, we are done needing batteries to bootstrap this. Well, if I put our generators here, I can then, this pipe will have fuel in it. I can then run out of pipes. Out of wrenches? Is there a diamond wrench? There is. Whoops. Oh, someone's aluminum. Uh. Runs. No, I need small. Oh, I only need one. Also need you to send. Well, I'll do that later. Because I need you to split your light fuel both ways, right? But for now, you can auto output down. Well, that's awkward. Oh wait, I can. Yeah. Okay. Now, how how do I position myself to be able to see and interact with the bottom side of that block? We did it. Right, so that gets light fuel primed in that pump or that pipe. We can get some of the light fuel into here. Now this needs a circuit to make steam. Probably need a couple circuits overall. I miss my three ghost circuits. Alright, what circuit do you need? 
It's one for all of them. Why is there two skill ingots in there? If we use circuit one for literally every recipe, why do you need a circuit? Uh, and our one amp is not making it that far. We're going to need more than one amp by the looks of things. For now, I can start bonking machines. Can you give multi-blocks two four-amp hatches? I don't think there are four-amp hatches, are there? At least not that I know of. They are at IV tier and up. Hmm. Then I don't know. Energy in or amp energy hatch. Oh, there's even sixteen amp energy hatches. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if. These might only be able to go into like processing arrays and stuff. Unsure. We can shut these up. Sure. Although, I mean, this one I don't mind. It's not that I'm not this, right? Oh, it even charged my battery for me. Wait. How did life. How did it. Get back in itself. What? Oh, did I have you set to accept input via output side? Where's my screwdriver? It's still out. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay. Well, there's a couple buckets in there now, and I can't easily move it with the tools I have on me, so I don't care. Perfect. You make steam. You don't even need a lot of energy to do it. You need a circuit for severely steam crack. Circuit on three. You probably need a battery to complete this task. All right, I want to distill you into exactly ethylene, which is circuit on 10. Once we have uh, benzene available, I, I probably intend to swap the generators over to benzene. So that, because its yield is already bad enough. How much energy do we get per bucket of light fuel? Per, is that four? We get 160, so we get... Well, that's sulfuric light fuel. Regular light fuel. For one, we get 320, so we get... What, three more zeros? I mean, 320k per bucket? I guess that's not a bad deal. I can leave it self-powered. For the time being, maybe we bonk this one so we can keep working on the rest of the chain. Why are you not powered? Probably because energy is going somewhere else. Wait, what machine is making the noise? You make noise even while disabled? Oh no, that's a generator making the noise. I think. Where's my hammer? My inventory. Why do I have two hammers? Yes, it was a generator. All right, we are getting power to you.
Oh, this makes carbon too. For now, I guess I can just... Throw it out. I don't... For now, I'll just give it a drawer. And we can package it into actual carbon later. Uh, you do need a conveyor to actually output, because I can't output two different sides yet for items versus fluids. I made a steam turbine, whoever put the recipe in. I was trying to steal your motors. Yeah. I put it back in the crafting table. The, the table that it that you were trying to make it in. Uh, all right, we've made 500 millibuckets of ethylene. Why can't I make more? Because there's no light fuel to distill, which means I have to re-enable you. But, oh wait, no, there's light fuel. I just have to get it out of... I would love to make another combustor generator. I mean, we have literally zero steel in the base <laughs> with which I can make it out of. So I am making do to see to at least make sure the process works. That bubbling has to stop. Yeah, we'll just turn off the sound on all of these, I guess. It, this gets so once we get one more operation out of you, that's not going to happen until we get an another full operation out of this chemical reactor. Let's check on steel. Any more steel to be had? Oh. Any more steel to be had? Any <laughs> more? Where's all my rod iron? Did it already get moved? No. Oh, is it just in the input bus? It is. Yeah, Operation Don't Run Out of Steel is is not gonna happen. Steel is a pipe dream. I have to make gears the awful way. Rip eight stealing goods. The first time when I streamed it was February 3rd. So, oh, just about two years ago. It's, the time around New Year's is Greg Tech time. Including Omni places, I think this is number four. 
reward for me? I had the original video series, the stream series, I, I did one off-camera? No, or did I do two off-camera before I started recording? I don't actually remember. I think I only did one off-camera before I started recording. And then this one. But what's next? I don't... I couldn't tell you what's happening tomorrow, let alone what series is next. Oh my god, the hooks! <laughs> they got the master of hooking. Yoink, my steel. DJ, take. Maybe? My one concern about TJ is that TJ seems like a very endgame focused pack. Like, they put a lot of thought into the endgame, but. You don't really. You have to play the rest of the game before playing the end game. And for me, the end game has always been the I don't know the the least exciting part of any pack. It's almost universally pack end game suck. These two gears, those two gears, plates, one, rubber, this a little rubber. Making more. Yeah. Lots of tin cable. One more steel plate. What's the terra firma rescue? I mean, based on terra firma craft, or yeah, I have never actually played a terra firma craft pack. I've watched Etho play terra firma craft, and I think that's enough terra firma craft for me. Wait, did my oh no, they're my inventory. What's it? Did my distance get stolen? No, the wire cutters are right there. They're they're in the crafting table. Four a.m. Good night, man. I sh I'm probably calling it pretty soon too. Bubbling. Stop. Bubbling. Also, why are you not making power? You're using 24. I guess there's not enough for you afterwards. Hang in there. Help is on the way. Uh, need a battery that has charge in it. What are you getting? Wait, why does this generator have hydrogen sulfide in it?
fluids are being pushed the wrong way. We need to move fluids around. I wish I had ender fluid conduits. My life for some ender fluid conduits right about now. Okay, first of all, you should not have hydrogen sulfide in you. Second of all, the hydrogen sulfide should be in you. Oh, I see. I need the filter. There should be no more hydrogen sulfide in this pipe, right? The filt the fluid filter that I have here. Wait, do I not have a fluid filter here? Yes, I don't. Okay, I need two fluid filters. Yeah, Max. Wait, there is a filter on top. Oh, right. I can't access filters like that. I need a screwdriver to do. So yeah, you can only send hydrogen sulfide up, but I also need to make it so that you can only send light fuel down fluid rain whitelist light fuel that should eventually But I have to unbonk you so I can get my hydrogen back. <laughs> Causes you to run. Will temporarily be battery powered. Now, who's loud? These machines, is it? Yeah, the hydrogen in this is closed loop, although I do need a place for that sulfur to go. Why is this hydrogen sulfide not going in there? Because I am auto outputting down, I need a pump to send that up. Yoink. Bronze plates. I wish we were rich on materials now. We didn't have to worry about. Oh, that's a generator. That's being left. Figured it out, team. Uh, but what I actually need is to pull that cover. I need a crowbar for that. You can point the electrolyzer to the reactor for hydrogen. What? Point the electrolyzer. No, because how am I, I have to get the 
you, you can't auto import right you can only auto output and this thing is already using its auto output to output the other fluid bottom I do need a crowbar to get that cover off though Wait, do I not get it back? Oh. Like, do I not get it back? It made the glass breaking sound. I want you to export, but only hydrogen sulfide. Disabled, uh, no. We extracted as long as we moved independently of the cover mode. Filter applies to items. Yes, I want it on allow unfiltered. So that should allow the hydrogen to get back. Perfect. All right, so now both are, we have two generators running, which can power the distillery, this chemical reactor when it runs. The, there should not be hydrogen sulfide in you. This electrolyzer when it runs. Haha, <laughs> we did the hydrogen sulfide quest. Victory. Uh, your chemical reactor output to the electro and electro output to the I mean, but that's the same thing as all we did was move the pump from this side to that side right like it's the exact same effect um this thing needs to not be bought oops long hammer haven't you ever wanted to hit something with a soft hammer and you hit it with the hard one instead mistakes you know Anyways, this cracks, this distills, and pretty soon we should be able to polymerize our first bucket with the help of a battery. <laughs> Uh, you probably need a circuit, don't you? I don't want to crack it. I want to polymerize it. Wait, ethylene plus oxygen makes a acid? Ethylene. Oh, that's why there's a circuit. Makes sense. What is the purpose? I... Ah, whatever. Don't stress it. I'm not going to... If it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Alright, this is also going to need the help of a battery. Yeah, I think we need at least four generators to keep this thing running. And it split it both ways. That's okay. Haha, <laughs> polyethylene sheet. Alright, we'll have you output into a drawer. Yes, okay. So we now have polyethylene. Uh it's a little cope. Because 
We can't run that many machines at once. No, okay, what will happen is, eventually, this will stop because it gets stuffed. When it starts backstuffing, then the later machines can run. Uh, I need to make more generators. <laughs> How's our steel looking? Our steel's looking awfully non-existent. So I think that's probably it for tonight. Because I can't do anything more without more steel. What happened? Did we ever upgrade your pumped hatch from the primitive one to LV? What do you mean? The... Wait, like this pump? These pumps can get better hatches? Or are you talking about a different pump? I don't think we used... I think we have, uh, we, we have endervores for water now. I don't know where they are. Yeah. We've been, we've been getting our water from this now, so... I don't think those pumps actually need to exist anymore. Um, but anyways, yeah, I think that's it for me tonight. Ugh, how long has it been? Feels like it's been like six hours. It has been, oh, it has been seven hours? <laughs> I suppose that's why it feels like it's been six hours. <laughs> um... But polyethylene is done. Uh, polyvinyl chloride is the next one. And that one is going to be a little bit more difficult. Because there are m more inputs to PVC than just oil and oxygen. But, oh well. That's one thing. Wait, polyethylene means we can... What did that get in Applied Energistics? Was it like patterns or something? What? Are we out of water? Oh, we're not feeding them enough water? Ooh. Us. <laughs> um. Okay, so I guess if they if we can't actually use these to make patterns, they, they don't actually do anything. We'll use it to make a. Uh, make stuff later. I mean, these are also used for... Oh, wait, we can make... We can make fluid pipes out of them, right? Even tiny polyethylene pipes. Oh, but you need an extruder to make those. The polyethylene pipes are better than wood. A tiny one is as good as a large wood one, almost. Fancy, but uh, yeah, this will just run at whatever rate it happens to run at with two generators, and it's not going to be very fast, but who knows? Maybe by tomorrow we'll have some amount of polyethylene, however much that is. Um, yeah, anyways, I will see you guys. Uh, I don't, maybe not. I, I might not stream tomorrow. I have a DD game till like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and usually my voice is pretty shot after that. Oh, maybe on Monday, something like that. Uh, we'll see how much fancy off-camera work gets done between now and then. Lots of people get a lot of work done. Anyways, have a good night, everyone. Peace.